We staying away from low vibrations this year. We staying away from low quality. <laughs> Anything. This year, yeah, and we're you're gonna try me to get some meta ass, but we staying away from low quality. I did quality. not tell you to get meta ass. <laughs> what you said? I did not tell you to get. Me. I said you can't tell somebody suck your meta dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy. Because Ice came over, put them little glasses on me, and then told me I could go up to people and tap them and talk to them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, can I go fight people? That's the first thing he said. Yo, yo can I go fuck somebody up? Then I'm bringing knockout back in the metaverse. <laughs> I'm just walking up to dudes and snuffing them. They did that in Jersey City? Yes. They did that everywhere, I think. They did that on my art? Yeah, hell yeah. I was oh. just talking to somebody about this. See, and that's why I love talking to people with a little bit of age and experience now. I was just talking to somebody. It was like, yo, remember when they used to come up to you and just smack the back of your neck? Open neck. Open yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, you're triggering me. <laughs> <laughs> I got in the mad real fights. Yeah, you was light-skinned. Because yeah. dude just, see, for the new year, I got to be correct. I got to correct some things. I live with my mom, and she checked me about that very thing this morning. What? That, what he just did. I didn't hear what he said. I said, because you was light-skinned. She said, I do it. I said, you do it. And now Ice just did it. And my mom really handed me my ass this morning because we do that. And I brushed it off because I'm 41, and I'm getting ready to go do a pod. And why are you talking to me about this right now? My brain is on overload. <laughs> But before I left to the pod, I went to go talk to my mom. And we have a wide range, a wide demo audience that listens to us. Some of those people are over 50 and 60, mm -hmm. sometimes over 70 years old. So when you hear certain things, it can be triggering. And I tried to explain it, right? To my mom, I'm talking. I'm like, yo, mom, when we say like light skin shit, that just is talking about maybe somebody's somebody's issues that they have because they grew up having to deal with certain things the same way a dark-skinned person mm -hmm. would have. And she explained that it's still based on color and there should be no separatism no matter what you came up with because that's a human thing if we just have things that we dealt with growing up that we carried, but it definitely shouldn't be based on color. And back in the day, there are people that felt like they were better black people Nigga. Because they were light skinned. See, of that's course. not my experience. Of course. I don't, I don't, I don't know that, and I didn't come up in that world. You got treated differently. I don't even yeah. know that. -ish. It's a different definitely treatment. Definitely did. But, but, well, not you, but I'm just saying. But he's I don't even know that. Having an honest talk. No, no, no. Watch this. And I didn't even mean to start serious this no, way. No, 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 no. no. But he said that, and my mom just checked me about it. No, listen. So, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you might have never dealt with. Just being attractive, if you really want to keep it a buck, just being an attractive person, it's a privilege that come with that. Pretty privilege. So, But being can, attractive is not rooted in color. I know, but it... Unfortunately, it, historically, it, no, it's been No, that's not that true. Yeah. Depending color, upon yeah. who you speak to, light-skinned, it's no such thing. And that's the, the problem. Light-skinned people are more, quote-unquote, more attractive than dark-skinned black people. But not to me. See, and I had that talk with my mom, too. But you might Wait, have been up. I was privilege. saying, hey, there's some people that deal with uh, hatred, self-hatred, because they are lighter. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, but self-hatred is also not a color thing. She's right. No, she's right, but at the so same then, so time, then she told she's me some, Wait, so then she told me a bunch of stories that shall remain anonymous, all from back in the day, mm -hmm. about things that light-skinned people may have had to deal with. Mm -hmm. Because they were light skinned mm. and they were really nasty, horrible stories. So we don't even say trigger warning on this show. But as I become more informed, speaking to people, certain things bother me a little bit. So I don't want to create that because that already mm, exists. And there are so many things out there that already exist that are divisive. That's true. I want to try to be less divisive this year. So I don't want to trigger anybody that had a fucked up experience because of the complexion they had, light or dark, mm -hmm. black or white. I, I don't. That's not who I want to be this year. <laughs> Hi, mom. Nah, she handed me my ass. She nah, handed it, me my ass. She on did. a serious side, she smoked my boots. Nah, it's definitely a thing, nigga. I was way lighter as a kid. Like I'm getting older, I'm getting dark. I was your complexion as a kid, huh. so it was a whole different ball game. But um, unfortunately. It's just a truism in the world. 
No bullshit. Like, you go to the bank, you're less threatening if but, you light skin. But nothing changes if nothing changes. True indeed. No, no, true indeed. It's definitely something that we should be more See, that's not my of. experience because I've always had the black experience. I go in the bank, them niggas, I'm not mind you, I may not look the friendliest. But I go in the bank, <laughs> they don't treat me like some light skin. I don't have the, I never looked at it like, Hey, I'm better than. It's not even that. that like that's silliness to me. Like, like yeah, it's what's right. saying though. A lot of times they do look at like as less threatening. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. I'm still in You've your walked shit. in banks with me. What you are you talking I'm about? I'm stealing your shit though. You are making me mad. Give it to me. Since you've been an adult, I hate when you do this bullshit. Learn Since me. you've Learn been me. an Learn adult, me, you've dog. been famous. But for the most part, you don't have a regular color. I know. You don't have a regular experience. Your treatment and your experience is not that of the masses. Is what I'm saying. Fact. So that that's it. So you are gonna say you never really experienced the treatment in the bank that might have been beneficial or it's, not? Is you still nigga? You rich nigga to them. It's different. Which is still nigga. It's different. Ish. Unfortunately, right? And you, Joe, my man. So me and you had these talks. So you'll hear me talk like excited when I meet the older white woman that understands mm -hmm. young black money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You've heard me talk you, about you that have. a lot. I have that talk because I've experienced being a rich black man around older white people that didn't understand where black people was getting this money from. Why you got money? See, Why are you in the same space as but, me? But you're changing it. All right, I'm listening. Celebrity is based on notoriety. It ain't based on money. You could be a celebrity that's uh -huh. broke and get treated a certain way because you're a celebrity, they don't know you broke. Or you could be wealthy and anonymous. So as a wealthy black man, but you anonymous, uh -huh. you can still get treated like a nigga. They don't know you. So somebody that's 70 years old, that's filthy rich, they don't know Joe Button from broadcasting or rapping. So they're going to treat you like this young nigga drug dealer. Yeah, but the white, the older white ladies will fuck me probably. That's why. Like, you know, like, oh, that yo, too. Yo, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. That too. But I seen how you switched up on your friends when you got your old rich white lady. <laughs> boy, that, that boy. Yo, he he switched up so fast on me, yo. yo. I, I, I wanted to meet her. I wanted to meet her. That's how bad. Making fast. up stories. Yo, it's you oh, making me mad, yo. We not nigga, starting the year like you that. You ain't let niggas meet Miss Ethel, man. We not starting the year like that. lived in Canada. Joe's lying, my nigga. What that mean? I didn't say that she was, that she was local. I switched up. I seen a lady like five times, four times. Nah, I switched up. No, you was hanging with her during the NBA playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> it was kickbacks at the crib. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna make it. Thought, nah, I'm over here. I'm like, your team is on. He was watching the Jazz. Yeah, what the hell is going on with this guy? <laughs> Yo, it's Joe by episode 499. Oh, it is 499? I don't know what episode it is. Oh, it is 499. It's 499. I ain't got shit special planned for 500. <laughs> I'll tell you that one, goddammit. Yeah, a little pod. We'll pod. Yeah, some, we'll, some, some light. Yeah, some we'll light. Pod. Some job. We'll probably pod. Hey. It's, it's a boy. celebration. <laughs> or not. Oh, a celebration. <laughs> These guys are awesome. These guys are awesome. All right, let's see, man. Let's start out with you some. You got a little montage for us? I'm starting out with some Gary V, man. Whenever the Wi-Fi start working. Saw an interaction between two former employees on some social network and they didn't like me. And I loved them. I went to bat for them for a long time and I entitled them. I overcoddled them because I wasn't able to give them feedback. And then I got to my wits end and I fired them and I'm the bad guy. And I sat there and I said, why are these two wonderful people who had plenty of love for me at one point. Why are they sitting here having a combo shitting on me? I'm like, I've got a flaw <laughs> and I'm gonna Gary fucking fix hilarious. it. I'm like, it's fucking candor. He's great. And it's so crazy because it is my strength as a public figure and it's because the context of the setting. Speaking into the ether, piece yeah. of cake. Speaking to Sally who I know like has a sick kid, you know, compassion and the over sympathy which are nice things. I went too far, I couldn't find my temperance. That's that guy's good. That's real. So is okay. he. Mike check one two one two. Mike check. Shit. Happy New Year's 2022 out there. You know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Every time I'm on vacation, I miss myself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dead ass. I tell y'all that, man. What you want me to do? We here though. Let's go. Yo, what is this bullshit you got on the screen right Generation now? Generation Alpha. Alpha. Yo, I don't, yo, don't, don't want to hear this. What the fuck anybody you're not, after you're, you're not starting my year off 
Yo, I've been so great at, at shielding myself from 2022 bullshit. Yo, niggas have tried me already. <laughs> <laughs> niggas have already tried me, and I'm letting y'all know how I'm giving it up for the year. These niggas can't silence me again. They will not suppress me. I'm going to get my shit off this year. I'm still going to try. Won't happen, dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you. <laughs> won't happen, dog. Y'all play with me this year like y'all played with me last year. If y'all want, I'm giving it up, dog. I got one life to live. YOLO. I'm putting me first. <laughs> All of that shit that the baddies are saying. I'm down with that shit. So play with me if y'all want. I don't want to hear this Generation Alpha shit. What is this? Anybody born after 2010. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to teach these Gen Z or something, boy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. Maybe I will welcome them. <laughs> Maybe I will welcome them. Nah, they different. They're going to learn y'all Gen Z or something. But shout out to everybody. We want to be welcoming. We want to be inclusive. We don't want to be divisive. Round of applause. Hold up. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? The JBP gang, welcome to episode 499 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, highly favored, lucky, blessed, amazing funny and charming host <laughs> Joe Button. listen I gave you niggas 40 years to big me up you never do it gotta do it myself now <laughs> gotta do it myself now here with some really amazing guys Parks is here yep. Ish is here uh, Ice is here Corey is here the whole video village is back there young boys what up <laughs> how's everybody doing doing well what's doing the well. energy how was your uh, new year your everything your vacation what's going on I miss new years I fell asleep <laughs> For real? You didn't make it to midnight? No. Oh, shit. I got to about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Damn. Next thing I know is the next morning, bro. My shit was very uneventful, but I mean, I made it to midnight. In the New York race, uh, one of the racers that was looking like they were going to win, they stopped the race so they could help somebody that passed out cross the finish line. That's what I did on New Year's Eve. I'm with you. I, by 11 o'clock, boy, I was... I was Winding like, down? I, no, I was nodding off. <laughs> oh, word. No, I was nodding off. I was looking around like, how are you doing it? <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm old now. All that staying up late for what? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to wake up and just be glad to be here. I don't know if I made it to 12. I, it was that uneventful that I don't even really remember. Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, it was weird. It was, I ain't a, see it was a, a weird holiday I ain't see a firework. A ball, nothing. A drop, nothing. I ain't hear no oh, gunshots. Nah, it was letting off over here. I ain't hear no gunshots. I was asleep before that. No, not, niggas was doing fireworks at 10 o'clock. Oh, I see, I see why Amazon didn't move here. <laughs> they was going crazy. <laughs> Should was like 4th of July in the story. They're, they're still doing that over here? Oh, my God. Shit was crazy. It Shoot. was lit. No, no. Uh, or fireworks. fireworks. Oh, okay. oh, I mean, there might have been some gunshots too. Well, yeah. Yeah. How would you know the difference? A little, med- <laughs> a little medley. <laughs> gotcha. A little gumbo. Yeah. Nah, I'm... Yo, we old. Yeah. All right. That's it. No, well, no, 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 we're I'm not, older. I'm not, I'm not, it's no, not just that. Older. It was, it was this, this whole holiday we're up season. Age. Just... I, ain't, I ain't aging us. No, I said older. Older than who? Than what we was before. <laughs> the people, when you in your 20s, that shit means something. You planning for your New Year's Eve celebration. You got your outfit, all that. Them you niggas is out. about to die. Who? All of them that was out there on yachts and shit <laughs> for New Year's Eve. <laughs> what See, because after them niggas don't report the fuck they health symptoms, I can't wait till humans get that chip in them and I can just see what's going on with you niggas. Oh, you got herpes? <laughs> Move. <laughs> How you gonna see it? Some shit. They gonna come out with some shit. Yeah, you gonna, gonna beep when you get near me. Yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck? Like a, my like watch my, going like, off. Like, like the smoke detector. Oh, fuck yeah. Apple Watch going off. Y'all, this is hot. Yeah. Just got this that shit. Hot. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, nah, that's yeah. what I'm You gonna beep by me. She hot. Huh? Yeah, she hot. Oh, she yeah, hot. she gotta go. <laughs> no, no, man, don't even sit down. But anyway, where we was at? What you talking about? New Year's. Yeah, New Year's. We ain't talking about shit. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's just not a No, no, you saying we you saying we old. That's why I stopped. Older, you. like Older. we just not. But this is why I stopped you. I had a nine o'clock dinner reservation to catch steak. Salute. Right? My mom almost urged me not to go because traffic, the city not making sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got there in fifteen minutes, fourteen minutes. Well, it's downtown, so mm-hmm. you're gonna miss a lot of the bullshit. But the streets was empty. Yeah. I wouldn't mm-hmm. normally expect that, but the streets were empty. Yeah. I walked in, catch steak. Mm-hmm. It was empty. Really? At nine. Oh, they yeah, didn't start to load up until around 10.45. Now, mind you, the way they was doing it, prefix menus from 6 to 9 is one party, and the mm. plates are 150 a pop. From 9 to midnight, 
they 250 a pop. So they were changing shifts. Right. But around 10, 30, 11, they started, it was packed. Oh, okay. Right, like, yeah, and then I left, and there was no traffic going home, and I went to another spot because I can't bring the new year in without being around some drunk, drunk white people that are annoying me. <laughs> I have to do it. Yo, they're the best. Because I mean, it's a crapshoot. They're either going to be the f- most fun you've ever had no, in your like, life that's true. or they're doing it wrong. Yeah, that's true. And I normally bump into a really fun, white, drunk lady who is like, ah, <laughs> where are you from? You live right there. <laughs> I live right here. $50 million in the bank. And I was like, where am I? I will fuck you. No, and, I t- and I told my dad, fuck you. Keep your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do that's what they do the money don't matter no, them. No. I don't even speak to my dad anymore I got that 50 million I told him to fuck off <laughs> and now I have a crib in Chelsea I'm, I have a crib up the hair and I normally live in Atlanta uh, in Florida but yeah yeah I'll do the Hamptons they're fine yeah, can I get you a drink <laughs> what are you drinking no I insist yeah, oh no once no they I say, insist once they insist you yeah. got it yeah. no I insist you once they turn, insist you, dog yeah nah alright so, you got it yeah. you got it that's how they got America <laughs> Don't get on the boat I insist No they insisted <laughs> Christopher Columbus Just insisted Son. No 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 I'm, I'm taking this from you No 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 I insist That's your sister Oh no I insist Yo you always go too far yo. You always go too far It never fails yo It's always you Let's keep it We're gonna keep it rolling Not be divisive uh, But anyway So yeah that was the night Then midnight came I fought through it Was in bed by 12.15 And happy new year to all I ain't mad at you I kept it light. I had four people here. We smoked cigars, smoked hookah, drank champagne, went to bed. What time? Oh, yeah, that's what we were talking I probably about went to bed with, three. The, with the beeper. Yeah, it's COVID out there. These people don't report when they have it. Yo, that mm-hmm. Times Square celebration looked crazy. They show you though. everything else except oh, that, for when they home sick there? in bed. It was packed. And they talking about, no, we were going to have social distancing out there at Times Square. There was no mask, yeah, nothing. I know. <laughs> COVID was out there putting up wilt numbers. That's it. Yeah, wilt. <laughs> <laughs> Will was there. Nah, oh, Will stat line out there for real. <laughs> nah, Kobe going crazy. Yeah, it is. You'd have been on your festival shit. I would. I would never in a million years for any amount of money go to Times Square on New Year's Eve. If you were single, you would have been out there. Tongue no kissing? way. <laughs> no way. That's your thing. When I was single, I did not go to Times Square on New Year's Eve. Nowhere close to it. Never. You been there before? I've never done. Where? That. Times. Square. We don't do that yeah. shit. Yeah. I don't know. That's no. not true. Niggas do that. Who, Niggas who live here don't who do none do of that, that shit. Here. People from not Ohio and shit. Yeah, they come. Your little Canadian I'll... white woman <laughs> wanted to go to fucking Times Square. People Shut who up. Who live from here don't go to none of this shit. It's made me mad. Niggas man. ain't been to the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State I've Building, Rockefeller Center, none of that. Little shit. ice skating never. thingamajiggy. None, none of that shit. I've never seen that big ass tree. Hey, all them ships I can see from my balcony, never been on them. That's true. If I had kids, maybe I would. No, I saw the tree I'm once. Not, mm, I saw the tree once. Wait, does your kid does your kid have an iPad? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my kid gonna have an I'm Oculus. You, you want to see the you, tree? Come you, on, you, put you this you on. Go ahead and try to Fuck take you. your kid away from that iPad to Rockefeller Center. Let's go look at the tree. I dare you. He Fuck off, the, Dad. He will slap the shit out of you. <laughs> Can YouTube the fucking tree? I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. So crime now, crime was up too. Was it really in New York for the year? Okay. Supposedly, and and I mean after Christmas. I'm, I'm gearing up for the New Year's Eve crime because mm. New Year's Eve is going to go down. Uh, and shit, it went down. I don't even want to talk about dude that killed Shorty in front of her children. Yeah, I'm, not, was... I'm never doing that. But around New Year's that Eve, nice. yeah, it's fucking disgusting. I hate people that don't consider kids. I hate people. I'm like, you fucking coward. Y'all. I hate that. But off of that, I gear up for shit like that because it's wild. Remember before before we went there, I kept saying, yo, crime going to be up. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Bat- right head on a yeah. swivel. Mm-hmm. I did that for a whole month straight. You did. Right? Yep. And I got that little app that tell you, that, listen, they were stealing packages all month. They were stealing packages all year. That's Nigga, a year-round yeah. affair. Yeah, but. It's up, though. It's up for Christmas because there's more yo, packages. Now it's getting yo, dark early. Yo, that's that's packages. Your stabbings were up. That's all we are. You niggas is bold now. <laughs> y- y'all just. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, yo, yo, what that? We bringing stabbing back. <laughs> We think these guns is bad. No, guns is easier than stabbing, yo. Stabbing, you got to really be up on somebody. You got to be up on a nigga to poke him. Yeah. Walgreens, Jersey City, New Year's Eve. Man comes in with an axe. What? Huh? Same thing I said. He axed somebody? He walks in with an axe. He's looking for somebody. He attacks somebody with an axe. Turns out it was the wrong guy. 
Now, before I get to the attack, my first question was, if he entered wielding an axe, then, like, shouldn't someone say something? What you say? I would think so. Turns, and they got a security guard at that Walgreens. Turns out. What the security guard going to say? <laughs> Damn, if I could you, well, could turns, you put the axe as, away, as it turns out, he was concealing the axe. Naturally. Which I thought was the most impressive part of the crime. <laughs> being, being a clumsy dude, you put the axe in your fucking trousers boxer brief <laughs> and walked in like you were on a mission. I, 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 I see what you was doing. So he attacked some dude. It was the wrong dude. My next question was, hey, don't they got a security guard up there? He ain't going to do nothing. I was with Ish. Then I said, well, why don't they put a cop there? Right? Isn't that logical? Cops cost. No. Deeper than that. Then I remembered that they used to have a cop there. And somebody called the cops so the cops could come and shot at them. (laughs) And then no more cops was there. Hmm. You Jersey City niggas different. <laughs> Y'all niggas Dude is different. called the cop to kill him. Thank God we made it to the new year and please be aware of strange crime. Yeah. Strange you see people. a guy with an axe. And, and he got away. The axer? They gonna get him. They got the axe, but he got away. <laughs> them Jersey City cops. He left the axe. He left the axe. <laughs> we, we was running from them. <laughs> See, that's y'all, all of y'all going out there to this bury the hatchet shit. That's where he got What's his. What's that, the shit where they throw yeah, the Yeah, that's where he, he got his little accuracy. What up. is bury the hatchet? <laughs> that's where they throw that's the axe the, at the target. It's, yeah. a new, it's a new, it's like. It's like a bar. Escape the throw axe. Listen, I saw a clip of Kevin Gates shirtless shooting a bow and arrow, and he hit the target in the bullseye. And while that was impressive, first thing I thought was, I beat the shit out of you with that fucking bow and arrow. I dare you. I dare you to pull up on me with a bow. Is he? Not Kevin Gates, but just anybody with a bow and arrow. Not they far away. Hey, Sam, I will. <laughs> what Bruce Lee do? Take the arrow, break it on his knee. You not show Bruce Lee. Lee. <laughs> Yo, that shit will fuck you what? up, Joe. <laughs> Joe, the niggas I had your little. That shit's titanium and shit. That shit going right through you, man. That niggas going to shoot you right in that thumb. <laughs> Yo, I will take that little gadget from this dude so fast. Is he wearing them chancletas? <laughs> Joe. If he walk up on me wearing them chancletas with a bow and arrow, I'm just taking it from him. I will be Detroit Dust, and that will be an intelligent <laughs> option to increase survivability. <laughs> I dare you to walk up on me with that thing, and you just said the same thing about an axe and a, and a hatchet. Yeah. See, I, I'm really I, ooping no, it to you, no, and you try thing. to reverse it on me. Nah, that's the thing. A nigga walk up on you with an axe. See, look, that's I'm going to start laughing. No, 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 I'm not going to laugh. All right, you laugh. Nigga over there with the bow and arrow, I'm not laughing. <laughs> well, if he been at the bury the hatchet, he might have some aim with the axe. Hey, he can Joe, hit you from across the room, too. Hey, hey, listen, John Bobbitt was laughing, too, before right after he finished cheating. He went to sleep peacefully, thinking everything was all good. But, yeah, you can't cheat and go to sleep peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> not on your back, at least. <laughs> not naked. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Wu Tang told you niggas protect your neck. You better protect protect your dick. Protect <laughs> You can't cheat and they just go. Uh, women are crazy, yo. Anyways, anyway, yeah. I Come on, move, moving that. right along. None of that. I can't figure out who stole the show. I thought that I wouldn't see a crazier story than the axe wielding. Is it wielding or yielding? Wielding. Wielding. Is wielding. It the axe wielding bandit? But then Sunday came. And my group chat started going off about Antonio Brown. Oh, man. And I fell for it. I'll be honest with you. When the first thing you see is Mike Evans trying to talk him out of something, (laughs) him saying, nah, fuck that, (laughs) him taking his shirt off on the sideline. I always look at the faces on the sideline (laughs) because I looked at the cop. The cop wanted to beat him with a nightclub. (laughs) He he really wanted to. He wanted to. Yeah, but he's supposed to be here. (laughs) You can't do that. Cop guy. Yeah, he bounced, boogie, did some type of look, look, jumping jack. He wanted him to do something. He was streaking. Oh, no, the, cop, to do oh the cop wanted to shoot him. He wanted him to do something. Shut your dumb ass out of here, Mountie. <laughs> you call a nigga a Mountie, bro? Yo, Mountie. You fucking state trooper. Shut your dumb <laughs> ass up. Niggas. So the first thing I said, I fell for it. I'll be honest. Yo, this dude is crazy, yo. Yeah. This dude is a nut. It looked that way until the, the, the other side came out. 
It still look oh, well. Look, that, right. Go ahead. That? Yeah, it does still look. People are still dragging Antonio Brown through the mud. I don't know. The difference that I recognize this time though is what they're not saying, which they said when he was fucking with his uh, child's mom. He'll never see the field again. Oh no, we hear that. I ain't see it from nobody. I saw. Can't rely on him. <laughs> they switched it up. Selfish. Can't, can't, can't depend on him. Yeah, I hear you. That nigga got me 30 in fantasy just, <laughs> just the week before. A week and a half yeah. ago. Yeah. Hey, off no practice. 10 yeah. catches. Fresh mm-hmm. off the off out the Volvo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nigga rolled out. Yo, he left this game and Ubered home, hey, yo. They I showed Yeah, yeah, he was out waiting for the Uber. Yeah, yeah. And then went to the next game. Hey, yo, fam, yeah. I forgot it's that course the Volvos on. even existed. <laughs> I, I know that. That's why they deaded my tickets, bum-ass Nets. Oh, <laughs> for A.B.? Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. They put you aside for A.B. They tried yeah. it. They tried it. See, but I ain't, I'm not but I ain't a Net fan. So, I mean, they, they call. I see what they're doing. Y'all want celebs in the seats. Got it. I'm free tonight. Fuck it. I'll head on over there. A couple hours. Nah, A.B.'s a little hotter than you right now. No, they'll, they'll, <laughs> never, tell, they'll never tell you that. They're saying, oh, as it turns out, the quarantine seat, uh, we just gave them a win. And then you look at the game, see Fab and A.B. You're like, ah, I see what you did. Uh-huh. And I see John Morant, too. <laughs> <laughs> Karma, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Treat people right for the new year, I yo. Mean, yeah. And yeah. then John Moran won't put 41 on your fucking head and walk out. Fucking dunks I never seen. <laughs> fucking, I'm, uh, I was home. <laughs> ah, that's right. <laughs> Get them niggas, <laughs> Bitch <job>. ass nets. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm in support of AB. I mean, so back, so back to Antonio Brown. The first yeah. report was he was denied chan- uh, the chance to reach his incentives, which were... Uh-huh. 333 grand for how many catches? 333 grand for how many touchdowns? 330. Wait, it, it, it was a million, million dollars. It was a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, it was a million dollars for three three check marks. Yeah, I don't need to read this. It was a million dollars for three benchmarks, right? Benchmarks. And then they benched him. And then they benched him. Now that story would make sense. We've seen that in the NFL before. Mm-hmm. It's not unfamiliar. Easy. We've seen it, right? And from that point on, I stopped discrediting the crazy because we use crazy to discredit. Yep. I know dismiss. somehow. <laughs> somehow I I'm familiar with that. But two things could be true. He could be a little crazy, and now this is his response to something he's well aware of that's going on. Yeah. That's what I said when the benchmark argument came out. Mm-hmm. Then they said, this is the new report, that they were trying to make him play injured. Whoa, that resonated way more than the benchmark. Because the benchmark argument didn't make sense to me. A nigga ain't doing all that over a million dollars. Not him. Not him. Not him. You would. You would do it over the principal. He might. I didn't think that he would. I ruled it out. He had a rough couple years. He might need that million. He needs that money. He he needs that million, bro. He does need the money, bro. We all need a million, let's be clear. I don't (laughs) I don't think he does that to Tom Brady for a million dollars. I don't. I don't. I don't think if I don't think Gronk wilds out for Tom. I'm clear that Bruce Arians wanted nothing to do with Antonio Brown. I know the Bucks and Antonio Brown's relationship is non-existent. Mm. He's only there for Tom. He mm-hmm. won with Tom. They won with him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he would do it to Tom for one million. That just sounds odd to me. <laughs> I'm not just saying it couldn't happen, but that was my thinking. Uh-huh. The injury story. Now we now we cooking. Now we cooking. Because mm-hmm. you're talking to somebody who's dealt with injuries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Injuries that have probably fucking cost him some dollars. Yeah. And when we, we we nobody goes back to the hit, the hit. Y'all know the hit. Brown we perfect hit because we discussed it. It was two dudes that hit him. It was a, it was perfect. Nah, it was the one hit. It was perfect. That it was hit the him. main one hit. Yeah. Let me look at this. It was one. It was one hit. This is bad, yo. It was just that one right there. Oh my! He hit him and his God, man. yo. Oh, that was the next. That season. was the very first time they played. The next season, Juju took him out. Juju fucked my man up. Why, why Ben did that to him? It's not Ben. That was, that's not Ben. It's not Ben. It just happens to be five Bengals in the area. <laughs> but he, he can't. Can, the, the pass was kind of... The pass was high. He came about, down. Yo. My man purposely did that. Yeah. Perfect Perfect has a track record of yes, being a does. dirty player. Ugh, that hit hurts. But let's get back to business. Okay, so We don't really highlight that hit enough. I think if any human goes through that hit, where their brain rattles inside of their head. And in combination with all the other hits that you've had since Pop Warner. And 
it's been discovered that CTE is in doubt. I mean, is definitely a real thing. See, that's the next break in science. They will find a way to establish CTE prior to death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just came out that Vincent Jackson, mm-hmm. CTE, yeah. mm-hmm. it was signs there. I think you could see that in people. I think there might be different stages of it. But last year, a year from today, before any of this happened, I said, yo, Antonio Brown clearly has CTE. There's something wrong. Before this hit, I didn't hear so much about Antonio Brown. True. And he was still with the women. He was still outside. He was still with the rappers. He was still with the jewelry. He was still one of the best players in the world. The I just didn't it hear it. huh? Yeah. The antics. Like, yeah, he, like he people, wasn't. People said yo, he was hear the mad antics. cocky. They said he was cocky. Yeah, he's, which he was, every he's a supreme right football athlete. Player, no, shit. every he's, supreme athlete yeah. is cocky. But they said that he definitely changed post this hit. After this hit, it's been a mess. It's been a mess. I won't say that we won't see Antonio Brown on the football field again because I'm not stupid. No, they said he's a buck. They just released today. He yeah, has, they didn't release him. No, he has not, in fact, been cut. They did not all. release him. <laughs> wow. Wow. And well, if, what does that mean? If, yeah, I don't know. I mean, There's, it's a couple things. One, if he is, in fact, because he played in the beginning of the game. It means mm-hmm. Pat Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers and yeah, Dak well, he and played, all look, He played in the beginning of the game. So, yo, I know if I can't go. The coach can't tell me that I can't go. Uh-huh. He's not the authority on my body. Right. I've been playing this game since I was a kid. Right. I know if my ankle is fucked up enough to the point where it don't feel good. I'm walking on it. It's tender. It's ginger. It's I don't want to get support, It supports his argument even more that's if the benchmark in, in, incentives and the, existed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Five I more, not want to hit those. That's my point. Five yeah. more catches, dog. I get another 300 grand and then one touchdown. I get. You and your whole the, team is down. We right. down, which means y'all got to throw the ball. You seen the kid Grayson go nuts. Mm-hmm. He would have did probably double that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it it behooves me to get into the game. Right. It so behooves I'm, the team. And me. Right. Like, if I'm being selfish, it behooves right. me. Right? right. So why would I not want to go in the game? My ankle fucked up. You telling me, yo, if you don't get in the game, you ain't a part of this team. Which means you don't give a fuck about my well-being at that point. Trigger. And we just won last year. With me. I was a I was an integral part of us yeah, winning. Yeah, suck yeah. my suck my meta dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just won last year, dog. At some point, I'm gonna consider myself. Yeah. Now, was his reaction normal? Totally whatever the word normal means. Totally unprofessional. No. Put a record out. I ain't mad at it. <laughs> was did did appear to be unprofessional. I've what? been unprofessional before. I ain't mad at it. Yeah. That's another really term. Oh, that's another term only for black people. Yeah. It's another term only for mm-hmm. black people. And I'm not starting the year. You're right, though. That way. But it's true. I ain't never heard my white friend. My white friend used to come and do all types of shit at the Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> they would come piss on the boxes if you felt like it. <laughs> Nobody ever said a word. It was always, Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> Joseph what, nigga? <laughs> nah, he shouldn't have did that. You got people looking. He at shouldn't him. have done it. I'm not tearing I Antonio done it, but I'm not at all. At I wouldn't have done it. I'm in support. I don't I'm not think he should have done it. Him. He shouldn't have done that. But if the, the if he has be- the CTE, I think he has. He's handling it rather well. He ain't doing Aaron Hernandez shooting niggas in the face. I mean, Aaron Hernandez got about ten bodies we never found out about. Nah, I just it's some other hey, the, uh, it's some other players we won't get into it because it's sensitive situations, but. Dude on uh on the Chiefs that drove himself to the stadium and killed himself after he, after he did whatever he did to yeah, his uh, significant other. Yeah. Disgusting. Zach Stacy Tracy, whatever his name is, I don't uh, even want to acknowledge dude, but because that was disgusting. But that C T it's C T. I know it's C T E because he doubled back two weeks later to say, "Hey, but you didn't see what she did." Excuse me. Right, like he thought that was justifiable. <laughs> That is a clear sign to me that oh, and and one of the symptoms he's delusional. off in the head. Impaired judgment and shit. You're right delusional. There. He's mm-hmm. off in the yeah, head. Yeah, you're off. Delusional. Impulse control. Yeah. I don't know that the kicker dude for the Giants that was wilding out on his significant other didn't have CT. Like all of these dudes with these uh. really violent type of tempers. Nah, kickers don't get hit that much. <laughs> I can't say that because I've never did it. But and, might I, not, and he might not have played I, kicker as as a, as that's a youth. True. That's true. Yeah, I, I can't say. I can't put myself in it. And that I don't situation. want to chalk that shit up to CTE. We don't. Because we definitely don't. There's a lot of niggas doing up. it that ain't played no sports yeah, that ain't been smacked. We not chalking it. Head not at trying all. to do that. So I just want to be clear that we yeah. not. I'm doing just that. saying when something is consistent in one profession outside of the profession, I think it bears looking into. That's all. 
And I don't know how that is because I'm not a scientist, but I hope they figure it out. I do think with, with, with technology, at some point, they'll be able to find a way. I would think kind so. Of They're working on it. Yeah, so I would think so. They're working on it. I would think so. They have to. They but in the meantime, I really love how Tom Brady handled that. Hey, let's just handle mm -hmm. let's just handle A, B with uh, compassion, grace, care, and love. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady's always been proven to be a class act. Yo, yeah, Tom Brady's the man. Yeah, Tom no, Brady's except for that man. MAGA hat in his locker that nobody pressed him about. He got pressed? Not enough. <laughs> he ain't really get the press. That was his man's. A lot of niggas' man, yo. Yo, he was a lot of niggas' man's prior Thanks. to him being the president of the United States. Damn, all these rappers dick wrote him for, for a years. long time. He was a lot of niggas' man. I had a whole prior. playlist. I was like, if I'm if I was him, the way everybody dissed him now, I just dropped a playlist of all of the rappers that was name dropping me on my dick. If he run again, we're gonna need Jadakiss to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm serious, yo. That's a fact. That might not be enough. All right, bring Styles and Sheik then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we coming with like four niggas. <laughs> Styles, Sheik, Jay, <laughs> bring, bring, bring them all. Yeah, he would have shut down the country. I seen a meme that said, "Them niggas are stupid." It said, Big T would have shut this shit down, paid Big us, T. and let the scammers keep cooking. <laughs> Big T. Big T. That's what they call them. <laughs> Big T, Big bring them back. Y'all ain't seen. Every time, every time some more of this shit come out, they put the, the fucking bat symbol, but it's it's a silhouette of him. <laughs> See, but that's why we're ignorant. Because black people would take all of that in exchange for him calling the National Guard with the horses to run y'all over when he get mad. Mm hmm. Hey, here, take the scam money, but don't y'all protest on this street <laughs> you better, now. You better shut your fucking mouth. You better yeah, shut that's, your that's the part mouth. that progressive yeah. black people want to leave out. Yeah. And that's where I'm conflicted. Like, no, you can't run over my people with horses. You can't do that. And and they on it. What's Trump Jr. and them? They on their ass. Yeah, it sure is. They on their ass. They put out a little report today. We will not stop investigating this. Bro, Don't think it's over, nigga. It ain't over. Nah, he pissed some niggas off. He pissed some niggas off. Big T. Yo, that oh, Big T shit man. is funny. Big that T. is hilarious, man. Big T better call Kodak and get that smoke up off him. <laughs> <laughs> Kodak could come get that smoke right off him. Kodak. Anyway, come on. Where was that? <laughs> Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown. Uh, I'm taking Tom Brady's words, and I hope that Absolutely. he's all right. Well, he clearly yeah. was all right. He went to the Nets game and had a blast. So, shout out to him. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I, I, I'm, no, I'm taking I think, him on my team. No, nah, I think we need, I think we need to double down on. I drafted him six round. You did? I bet you. Not he mad balled out this year. He got busy. He had a good year. He gets uh, busy when he plays. My whole period. draft after me, but he did good. Dog, they said he gets better separation than any receiver ever. But I just want to double down on, yo, this is a black man that the media has the ability to ruin. Because mm -hmm. they can spin the story. He don't really get a chance to tell the story. They can spin the story before. They was dissing the nigga before the game was over. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. With potential scenarios and shit, even before, before the game was out. over, yep. before any information came mm -hmm. out. And so once it's out, but that's the bad you part can't of get it but back. That, but I will say that's the bad part of being a quote-unquote talking head, right? Because you have a job to do five days a week. Mm -hmm. We do this twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These gentlemen have to go to their job five days a week to discuss what they see, mm -hmm. not what they know. And that can be tough. And discuss. There's only a few of them things. that even have the resources to pick up the phone True. and really get the scoop. True. Right. These guys, other guys, got to come on and there's a list of things to read. Uh -huh. Here's top, a clip. And this is mm -hmm. what do you think about the clip you just saw? Yeah. So no context. That don't excuse it at all. <clears throat> mm -mm. But it's difficult. It is. See, but that also the flip side of that when you go to work five days a week, you have time to change contextually as you learn. True. I liked that they continued to show us Stephen A versus J. Will on the Kyrie topic, even mm -hmm. after the topic had passed. Mm -hmm. Because J. Will feels one way, hey, dog, you ain't going to keep killing Kyrie and bigging up Aaron Rodgers while I'm sitting here. That's right. Indeed. And Steve feels the other way. They made that a thing. So good that you could follow something and follow up on it when you work that much. Shout out to them. I agree. Totally agree. What else, man? Oh, rapid, rapid pod. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else is important? Who else stole the show? Tristan Thompson. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Legend in two games. <laughs> Ask Pee Wee Kirkland. Yo, I do not understand this dude, yo. <laughs> Tristan? Twitter tried to kill me last night because I said he's Canadian. And he is Canadian. Yeah, he is. And he's Jamaican. Hey, relax. Okay. <laughs> With the guan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jamaican niggas be horny, yo. Oh, no, man. They do. 
That's, that's Canadian shit. <laughs> that's not Jamaican shit. <laughs> no. I got mad Jamaican homies. Them niggas I'm, is no, that, that's, horn dogs. That's Canadian man. shit, bro. He's that horny, nigga, yo. That nigga's a horn dog. Nah, he's horny, yo. That nigga's a horn dog, my nigga. His horny levels are high. Yeah, that nigga might, he might be part owner of that, the rose. He might have invented that shit himself. <laughs> He might have came up with the little dick extension they put on the rose. Y'all see that little tiny dick they put on the, at the end of the rose? Nah. And yeah. none of you ladies apologized. Boy, as a man, hurt my soul away. Listen, y'all already got the gay besties. Y'all do everything in your power to get rid of black men. Here come this little rose. Now y'all put a little tiny dick on it. And for about six, seven, eight months, boy, y'all was rude to men with like real actual dicks with veins in it. Y'all was talking like the robots had taken over. It's and over as a for man you niggas. With, that, that, yeah. As a man with like like dick, I was confused <laughs> by it. I knew y'all would come back around, right? But then they got the attachment? Because self the self checkout at the supermarket is cool. Until that little machine get to talking back. You didn't put the thing in the back the right way. Call for help. Call for help. Wait, are you finished? Can I you just try to do that? No, I don't understand what you're saying. Can I compute? Can I compute? That's what happened with the rules. And then they come crawling back. They come crawling back. Fair I told him that little Rose didn't have the arms, wasn't going to reach up, choke you. And don't choke Wasn't going to eat that pussy right with <laughs> the finger lick, tongue the combination, don't get a little the certs in the mouth. Dirty to you. Ain't going to spit in the mouth, pull a hair, choke you, hand around your neck. Huh? Well, see, I told niggas how to use the fucking rose. Bullshit, I told the, the Rose is your tag the team rose. partner. That's how I was supposed to Yeah, be. but niggas are naturally haters, so when the Rose came out, most niggas was hating, like, oh, fuck that shit, I'll step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit in the washing machine. <laughs> I was saying, fellas, let's work in yeah, conjunction man. with this thing. Word is we could really get women's emotions and feelings out of here if we work together. Or at least put them Never in, after put him. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than when you think you put him to sleep and she just up walking around doing shit, mad energy. You tired. Sometimes she looking at you mad you slept. Like, yeah, or she want to go again. <laughs> you like, go again. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> we here already. Because she, she don't respect your fucking career. I be like, y'all got nine jobs. She be like, that. You got that. <laughs> you got some work to do over here. Yo, you stupid, man. Only me, right? Anyway. No. Oh, poor Tristan. But wait. <laughs> <laughs> Expound on that. Come on. Mm, I, I think these I niggas just be just like CT. Mm. Yeah. So nah, yo, Tristan nah, got CT. Yo. Yo. Nah, he do. <laughs> nah, he do. <laughs> What's CT stand for? Canadian something that he got. He got some different CT. Fam. Constant toxic energy. <laughs> no, I might have that. That's, that's different. I'm talking about this. He got that he, CT. He, he got a he different got one. Because there's, no re- there's no other way to explain yeah. this behavior. You got a perfectly good white woman who's letting you walk all over her, and you keep trying to lose her. Mm. That is a gift when you get something that'll just let you do what you want and never leave. <laughs> and you really trying to get her to leave. Maybe he want, maybe he... And I... Chloe, oh, man, come on, yo. She tough, too. Come on, I man. I mean... Come on, All you got to do is just do your dirt. Like trash. Quietly. Pull Listen. Up. Just, Pull yeah, up. like, yo, fam. <laughs> Are we, everybody ignoring the obvious here? What? Maybe he wanted to fucking leave. But then you don't he do don't, that. He don't, because he keep apologizing. You don't do that then. And saying, well, yo, he's saying. Instagram, though. No, no. You don't do that. Yo, you don't deserve this. Action. The way that I behave is not indicative with how I feel about you and respect you. He don't want to no, do that. He, don't he loves that family. Not he, just that. He loves that family. Not just that. Nigga. Sports careers only be this big. True. And this long. So post career, you being attached to them is something. But ain't he on the Celtics? Yeah. I mean, he ain't about to be faithful in Boston. What are you talking about, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> you ever been in Boston? Cape Verdeans is out there. Cape, Cape, Cape. Cape, Cape, Cape. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't even think But let's think read what he said. Let me Texas. read what he said. Look, and this is why Tristan Thompson is funny. He says. Today. <laughs> Already it's funny. <laughs> All he said was today with a comma and it's funny, but let's continue. Today, paternity test results reveal that I fathered a child with Marilee Nichols. Let me stop and pause for a minute. Tristan, 
She told us this a month, two months. She revealed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. She also revealed what you had said. Mm-hmm. And you said, bitch, you crazy if you think I'm fucking with you and this kid. You're going to have this kid for, for a money grab. Guess what? I'm moving to Houston and I'm never going to play basketball again. You'll never get a dime in Houston. You better go look it up, bitch, because you'll never get what you think you're going to get. What you better do is take the 75 grand. That's what you said. I seen to this. That's what he said. I seen to that. Yeah. My memory bad. But it ain't no, no, that no, bad. That. that was just about four weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, about Cause that. she waited to the end of the, the baby here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She waited right to the end. Nah, baby ain't here yet. That baby's here. That baby's here in the world. You lying? Look it up. Baby's we here. men, so maybe I don't know. But that baby's here. No, I think I, I'm almost. She waited to the end. The she was here. at month eight or nine when the beef started. I could be wrong. But don't. Does Why the you baby th- have to be born to get a DNA test, a paternity test? You no? can get, oh, you can get a, a pre-birth um, really? paternity yeah. test. It's okay. a lot more but, risky. But let's continue. She Got says, oh, he says, I take full responsibility for my actions. No, you don't. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amicably raising our son. No, you don't. <laughs> he didn't write that. No, he didn't. I sincerely apologize to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately. No, you don't. (laughs) You don't. Y'all not going to play tricks on my brain for 2022, yo. Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I have caused you. You don't deserve the way I have treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you may think. Again, I am so incredibly sorry. End quote. To that, you gentlemen say, what? I hope I never have to apologize for a baby on Instagram. <laughs> Yo, Apologizing to your girl on Instagram is nuts. It's even crazy when your girl wrote the apology. <laughs> <laughs> Here, nigga, press it. <laughs> Here, I typed it out. Just don't even I read see, it. I see what we're on for the new year. Press in. I see what I see what's going on for the new year. You want to talk to me again? Press in. Yo, that's all this is. Man. I hate being up here being a gossip bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the girl said that's what potting is now. Yeah, bro, the girls hate potting. Yeah, the now. girl said God, they should have never gave guys podcasts. I seen the chick say, if you go in a dude's house and you see a mic anywhere, just throw that shit. <laughs> <laughs> if he has a mic in there, throw it. <laughs> like they hate potters, bro. Um, this it, yo, it's funny. This nigga, yo, dog. What's all the girls just. <laughs> how old is he? He's horny. It don't matter how old he is. He's too horny, yo. No, nigga, if you nineteen, you do this. This nigga's well in his thirties. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I do always. I do want to interview the guys that come in their side chicks. I do. That's a good interview, yo. I want to know. Listen, I know how good that nut feel when it's about to come out. You can even feel it before it come out. And I know how good that pussy can feel, <laughs> yo. I understand. I'm not judging nobody. Because I bird. know. Why do you love birds? Well, I was, te- I was trying to tell you. Why um, do you love all right. birds? I'm just saying, we oh know how good pussy feels, yo. It's a great place. But to leave it in, shoot it up. And then have to rely on her to take the plan B or any type to believe her with the birth control, to believe her when she said, oh, I'm not ready for kids either. Mm. Nigga was drunk. Dog, you have a... You have to stop fucking drunk then. Yeah, you do. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you don't I agree. Know, if you don't know where to come... I agree. When to come. Or when to come. Yo, this nigga's come game. Yo, yo, what, <laughs> yo dog. Cause, cause this, is, this is second time. Yeah, you gotta start that we know about. You gotta start jerking off more. That that part, that right there, that part. (laughs) That'll save you a hell of a lot of headaches and a a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, (laughs) you just embarrassing your chick. Like, and your chick is one of the more famous women in the world. No, nigga, and your chick is one of the most sought after women on the planet. Oh, you see, Lamar Odom remind them every time. (laughs) Oh, lo, right there, yo, yo, yo. I want to see what lo say. He said it all again. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yo, every woman in the world has a nigga in the cut just waiting. Just waiting. Waiting for you to fuck up. Just waiting. Yeah. 
Just waiting, girl. See? I got a little high. Lamar Odom, I don't I know. I don't, I don't know if you the. I, I mean, I, <laughs> eh. <laughs> but you never know. Nah. You never he ain't, know. He ain't. You never. I don't know. So, I don't know. If it, <laughs> I know Lamar Odom did an interview the other day talking about. See, and this is why niggas is messy. Yo. <laughs> that nigga did interview. Yeah. You did a podcast. He said, "Yeah, man, when me and Taraji Henson broke up, like I was fucking well for a long time." And then everybody was like, "Wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Who asked you that? Nobody. Nobody knew that. Nobody was inquiring about that. Taraji's moved on. So I want y'all to know, I ain't. I'm never potting to y'all." Because I know that feeling, too. You got a mean one in the stash. You, you're dying to let them know about. <laughs> you die because these niggas been playing with your name. But on the late night, you got something nice to come by. It's eating you up inside. <laughs> but you can't do it, yo. No, you can't do that. Can't. You can't do this. You absolutely cannot do that. That looks a mess, man. And that's why they don't be wanting the cha-cha. Parks, mad gentlemen have tried to steal the show for 2022. Already. Yes. Lamar, Tristan, Lamar ain't AB, that. Lamar not that dude, you know. AB, the ax guy. <laughs> hey, yo, fam. Your old work. When the nigga just keep fucking up like that, my old bitch is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be like, "You right, daddy? I'm coming. <laughs> coming home. I'm coming home." Lamar was. Yeah, my, my old work come back when a nigga acting right. I'm just saying, I, I, I yo, ain't want to say that. I ain't want to say sometimes. Yo, sound yo toxic. sometimes there's nothing you new niggas could do to match that toxic two three years run nope. we had, boy. Nope. Nah, that left a, a dent in her life, and she and she she's reminded of. She remember it. The yeah, second she ain't forget you that. Man. She only fuck with you because you're different from me. So nigga, the second that sec- different stop working, no, she's going back. It ain't going back to the same. Nigga, the I second mean. you sneeze in a way that she don't like, she yeah, I don't like the way that nigga like ties sneakers and he chew. Mm-hmm. You know that he he sneezed too. I might as well go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know his sneeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the new nigga ain't choking you like I choked you. Keep it a bean. No. Keep it a bean. He ain't. My t- come on, dog. Stop, yo. <laughs> stop. Stop, man. Y'all know what's going on out there. Then you get the chick, they want to text you. And this is where you know women are crazy. And they yeah, I just want to fuck you one more time and then I'm getting off of you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, would you think we was about to negotiate? <laughs> no, no, you can't. No, no, no we no, got to no, pay no. too. No, that's, no, that's love. <laughs> what? You don't fall for it? Can't you can't fall for that. Can't get that. Can't fall for that. Can't get that. No, you see, that's, that's, oh, well, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Some arrogant shit. No, you can't do that. I'm with you, but I'm stingy with dick. That's 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 arrogant. There you go. Fuck out of here. But I think more men should be arrogant. Yeah, hell yeah. I agree. Tristan should be arrogant. Yeah. I'm arrogant with Dykeman work. Give me Chloe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good point. You really got to be selective with your PP, man. If you, that's what. Bill, billionaires, the billion, Damn. multi-billionaire family, and they thirty still. No, uh, Jordan Woods dodged the bullet. <laughs> You Yo, dodged a did. bullet with this guy. Damn. Got Carl Towns right after the big contract. N- never looked back. Yo, women is up out here, man. The women get that. And you job. niggas can't even get your fucking PPP scams off no more. <laughs> yeah, it's over. That's crazy, yo. We got to rob these chicks. <laughs> they are in New York. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. And I'm kidding, by the way. Because I'm not promoting it's danger joke. to women. It's a joke. They'll shoot your ass. Yo, uh, <laughs> this nigga. This nigga's different, bro. Shh. Jerk off more. Let's continue to more different men. And listen, anytime we take a pod off, I just sit home observing the mess. Shit just start happening. It's like it's like they know, oh, they're not going to pod. We just going to go. Listen to this, dog. And I refuse to talk about Kim K and Pete Davidson again. So I'm not talking about them anymore. I want to solely focus on our brother who needs our love, strength, prayer, and support. <sighs> Hold on. How you spell ledge? <laughs> L- the D before the G. Right. Carry, carry the one. Oh, I'm going on the ledge already? This nigga kind. Because, see, now I don't really think this is ledgy. Because I think that other people notice some of the same things that I noticed, but won't say it. Maybe you don't have a platform. Maybe they're afraid. You're talking about powerful people Maybe here. Maybe their girl threw away their mic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe their girl threw away their mic. But listen, man. 
I had to personally text Justin the boy myself. Well, Justin, because enough was enough. I had seen enough. I understand how publicists work. A lot of people out there don't. Kanye hasn't sat down for a while. He went to Turkey leg up. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him in the ocean the other day. Yeah, he was in he went to the, in the ocean, ocean with Jay Prince and them. And Sean. And, and Sean. That was one of the weirdest pictures I've ever seen in my life. Well, that's how he you went to Yas- Yasmin Lopez's birthday party. He then popped up in a pic with Bobby Light. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. Then they caught him. Then they caught him uh, in a hotel room with two women, whoever these women were. Swag. And then Yasmin Lopez started fighting with her friend about the friend being a mutt and getting fucked and sent on her way by Kanye. Then Kanye went to the puff party for New Year's <laughs> Eve. Justin LeBoy has been in all of these pictures with him. And I don't think that Kanye West will ever get his family back fucking with Justin LeBoy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one that notices Justin this. Justin LeBoy is the friend that when you're going through shit with your girl, he's... Justin LeBoy is the friend that, the... That, that Kanye West shouldn't get women recommendations from. If Kanye West would just take a second to gander at Justin LeBoy's Instagram page and following, it's built and based around... The drop. <laughs> <laughs> why do you love birds oh my god the birds that Justin LeBoy fucks and attracts shouldn't be the same ones that Kanye fucks and attracts and he tries to throw us off with that oh, I'm dating somebody a little model from Cabin Fever or whatever but this nigga is, is outside outside <laughs> the bad way he look doofy every time you catch him outside. Like, if he's not in a fashion shoot, if he's not around, like, musicians, like, in a studio, he look like a fish out of fucking water, yo. Nah, when you go through that breakup, he's just gonna, trying to fuck his way through the pain. Nah, I was just, no, you just keeping yourself busy. That's too. Don't nobody want to sit in the house but and be in the No, 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 no. You normally know, keep yourself busy with things that you think are fun, no? He's not no. having fun. He get, dog, the nigga. This nigga looks miserable, Who yo. Who you gonna have the fun with? You've I been, don't know. You've been married the last five, six years, seven years, whatever it's been. Maybe longer. Been Maybe more than that. Yeah. So now, outside is where I need to be to keep my head focused. I'm not focused, but to keep my head cloudy. I don't want to sit in my own thoughts. Ish, we started this podcast with, yo, we old, so around 12 o'clock, we might go to bed. Mm-hmm. How old is Kanye? 44. About that. Yeah. So He's, you think at 44, you feel like, oh, I need to be in the scene. Yeah. In the mix. If I was going through a breakup and a heartbreak, you motherfucking cotton picker. Uh, yo, I just nigga, had. If you're Kanye man, West, you if I'm go. up nine billion, I'm not. In, I'm not on the scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, not, yeah. I'm sorry. Your money don't have nothing to do with your no, emotional it, health. It, 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 no, no, no. Not your fucking mind. Kanye could DM. I'd be on a yacht somewhere the with these chicks. You would never see. You never see none of this. You guys are talking over each other. I cannot understand you. It's not fun. Huh? It's not fun. This don't look like fun. Yep. To you, no, I'm saying to, maybe to him. in the pictures he don't it's, look like he's having fun. It's busy. That nigga had to stand in the cl- in the hallway and look at the French Montana Jordan threes. <laughs> Y'all remember? I mean, mm-hmm. That looked fun. No, I'm saying he's just keeping himself occupied, nigga. When you be going through heartbreak, you don't want to be sitting at home. You don't, don't want to be in home, silence though. with no chick. I do want to sit on because I can't cry outside around people. Not me. I want, <laughs> I want to, keep, to cry. Sam, I want to keep myself occupied as long as I possibly Man, can. Kanye could go get him one of them boats like you saw Magic Johnson and all of them on. And gonna be on nine, and 90 of them can be on the boat Ish, with him. He Not had the people girl. go to Wyoming. Sam, y'all missing the point. He threw niggas on a private plane. Let's shut up and listen to I'm not to talking Ish. about okay. no girls. Because he's older and wiser. No, I'm just saying I'm not talking about girls. It's not about girls. The niggas... A billionaire, he's one of the most famous motherfuckers on the planet. He can get pussy in his sleep. I'm talking about you just want to be around people to keep your mind off of what you losing. He don't give a fuck if it's chicks. Yeah, it's you, niggas, chicks, everybody. Yeah, you are so mature. Bro. <laughs> Honestly. You, fam, we, you've been there. I have. I know. I have, but I didn't have nine billion. I could bring the fun to wherever I want to be. All right, so you're saying we should 
have some grace. Nah, I'm just saying, like, because he does look stupid. Fam, outside. he don't necessarily do this. He do look like he don't want to be there. Yeah, he does. That's all I'm saying. He look yeah, like he don't want to be there. But I'm going through some shit, so I might as well surround myself by people. These bitches probably get on his nerves, aggravate the shit out of him. So women, r- right after you come, <laughs> women, right after you come, them too. No, look, right after you come, you don't want to be around them. So now what? Let me go hang out with. Wait, <laughs> Yo, this guy is. Bruh. This guy is a great ball of fire today, isn't he? <laughs> I'm lying. I want to be around mine after I come. No, yours. Yes, yeah. That's a little different. But, I don't, oh, I don't want to be around. Well, that's why I don't do that. <laughs> If I can, if I can't be around you afterward, then what do we have? <laughs> if we can't watch a show together, <laughs> play footy. Yeah, go yo, on, I get man. it. I'm just saying for him, I, I'm, he just probably entertaining this shit just to keep sane. That's my opinion. I mean, I feel you, but I'm just again when you when you're up like that. And to Joe's point, you can get everybody to come to Wyoming. I can do whatever the fuck I want. They came to Wyoming. You don't need to go. Project. They came out there for more than the project. They came because sure. Kanye said, "Come Niggas to Wyoming." Niggas is not gonna bro. stay around Kanye for the month Yo, during the holidays. People, and you got, they got people to come families. to L.A. every week to listen to a choir. I know. <laughs> That's hard. In the grass, people on, fuck on, with Ye, man. On yeah, a Sunday, fuck with Ye. And what what they did Sunday night? They well, think I want an interview because I bigged him up for the year in yeah, his they album. Keep saying that shit. Oh, yo, just what the year? I don't want. I don't want. If there's one nigga I don't want to talk to, it's him probably. Because some niggas are looked like too spacey. And you gotta respect the spaciness. Yeah. What you gonna say if he's just sitting in front of you? Think start getting spacey. Like, <laughs> what you gonna say if Elon start Musk? Some bullshit. Like he's a. I'm serious. Nah, you're right. Nah, you got it. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna reel Yo, him you back got in. Aquapana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so thirsty. You're right about that though. Nah, that ass. I ain't never even peep it. <laughs> I'm phony. I'm phony. What you want me to say? Just say you got. That aquapana. is really why I don't do interviews because I'm phony. <laughs> True. You gotta be phony, yo. You really you do, do. It to interview to do yes. it. Yes, yes, you really gotta, gotta be phony. Gotta you gotta act like you care about this shit. Word, like, oh, word. What you said is some profound shit, dude. Like, I don't give a fuck. But you know my other problem: Sorry. these niggas will not fuck women older than twenty five, yo. Mm. Look at this, yo. Come on, yo. One day we're gonna have a real talk about this. I- I've been ready. We can have that talk. I Why think- you niggas won't fuck adults? No, nah, I think they do. The adults just move less birdie. I'm not going to this party. Me either. I like a good party. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not. We ain't got Kanye money, and that party don't even look us-ish. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the point. That's, I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> that's the yeah, point. That shit right there look a little... No, no, listen. Listen how bad it is. The chicks, they all got their phone up taping I know. him. He's still yeah. standing there. They don't want to be there. The lights are on in the club. No, that you they should got the be light leaving. on the phone staring in his face. Like, how you just gonna put your light in my eye? Yeah, come on, Justin LeBoy. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here, Meanwhile, you have enough money to have your old crazy fly party that looks however you want to. Everybody and sign a NDAs. Tunnel that out the back. Put lock them phones and up. Then, and let's let's have that. some real fun. That's one day. He gonna catch. You can do that every day he, when you got nine billion. He, he gonna catch B. Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all something. Yo, he already tried to sneak to Miami because he thought they was gonna be there, but Kim pulled the move on him and then, then stayed home. You lying? No, I am not. Pete was there. But Kim wasn't. Uh, he tried to catch the niggas at. He's going to catch him soon, man. That's big toxic energy, man. That nigga going to walk in is Wet it, Willies. It is toxic. It is, is toxic. It is. It's he big gonna toxic energy. New Year's Eve party? That nigga going to walk in Wet Willies. Why you think he got gloves on? Look. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on it? <laughs> Justin LeBoy don't want to leave. He mad. He's like, all right, yeah, fuck it. Come on, we out. I just think it looks nuts. I agree. No, I don't, no. don't want to. I would think it's look. I, I don't want to see this. I agree. A thousand percent. But you got to think. He about threw a New Year's party with Future. Kanye did? Yeah. Mm-hmm. In Miami, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In Miami. Puffing. My first thought was, oh, they going to be in there. It wasn't in there. You know why? It was a bunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess. <laughs> why? Joe knows why. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> they know why, too. They ended, yeah, up, yeah, they yeah, ended uh-huh. up there, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The niggas in Miami knew where to be on New Year's. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't at the it, future. It, it, yeah. In, in French Montana Last Park. minute announcement. Yeah, French. No disrespect, of course. No, no, no. That's no. no disrespect. That's and not I thought be. about this while I was home. I don't know. I was having a music thing in my head, and it was Drake. And it was. I was thinking about just the people that should stay out of this. We've been talking about Hove and Wayne. And 
So I was trying to think of the list. And boy, it shocked me to learn or teach myself. We don't talk about future enough on that list, and he's there. I, he is there. I, yeah, he's been saying But that. he's yes. been there, and we don't discuss it. I keep saying we, we just leave say him alone. Drake, yay, Cole, Kendrick, Hove. Wayne. Hove, I think, is goaded. I don't count him. But future is there, 1,000%. Yeah. They're going to tell me I'm pandering in the South. No, no, it's no, true. No, 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 no. When no, it comes to no. market share. It's going to be a long day. What, today? No, no, I'm saying if, the day that you go against Future, you go have a, you got to pack a lunch. Yeah, he's got the market share. You got to pack a lunch. Who's going against Future, yo? And I'm glad you brought it this up just so I can tell the fans, stop saying Future versus Young Thug. I know it sounds good to y'all. Just stop. Please. For everybody's sake, just stop. Y'all don't want to see that. Tell them why. Y'all don't. It, it, As our Southern representative from I'm not, New Jersey. No, no, no. no. <laughs> not a Southern rep. Just, just stop because... Yeah, we like Thug. We love Thug. We don't want to see that happen to him. And it would be bad. So stop. Future going to kick somebody's ass. Nah. Nah, niggas was, ain't going to play. Leave him alone. Yeah, he's not going to do it. They're not going to do yeah. it. Yeah, leave him alone. Future versus T.I., who you got? I'm, I might back. have Future. It's a long Keeping night. it a buck. It's a long night. It ain't, it ain't a walk in the long park either way. Both of them. <laughs> it's not a walk in the park It's a long night for both of them I think once you get past maybe 13, 14 And you start getting to the end of the catalog I think Future gonna get them Oh, I thought you was gonna say that reverse No Future has a it, lot of records you got, yeah, Future He's has. been around for a minute now too We forget Y'all that Y'all know we talking about T.I. Yes, yeah. I do Y'all don't yes, think I if do. it goes the distance T.I. is the one in the dis- at the disadvantage? I, I do think so I don't think anybody's advantage I just think it's gonna be a long night You just not yeah. I'll tell you where Future would have the advantage is he has been around for a while, but his sound is still more relevant. So it's going to hit, sound's gonna hit a lot gonna hit. better. It's going to hit a little it's different. Right. It will be in Atlanta. And he it's going to hit. You got to be careful with dudes like that that just, just can kill you with one line in the song. Like as soon as uh, I fucked your chicken, some Gucci flip flops or whatever the hell he said comes mm-hmm. on, then he wins. That's it. You got to be careful with a guy to, to just say his name fly. And now that's. The end. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Rap a bunch? <laughs> Y'all gotta leave Future alone. I, I'm, I'm that nigga going back an- on that. Yo, he got anthems. He does. Like yo, you and know, he has March Madness. Look, that's, that's look. You know, I'm cheap, and that ain't even. The- I'm cheap in the strip club. Oh, you hear that? That's one? my record. When that March Madness come on in the strip club, nah. I'm, you know what time? I'm, I'm letting it go. You know what time? <laughs> they, they can get a couple hundred you know out of me that day. I'm letting it go. <laughs> couple hundred. Couple hundred. <laughs> March Madness come on. I'm, I'm letting it go. I'm going crazy. Got two hundred for him. Says <laughs> <laughs> so it don't be going crazy. <laughs> Just throw a little two fifty on. Him. Yo, March Madness, come on, yo, like, that shit different, bro. Uh, but I didn't mean for us to get on a uh, yeah. future rant because yeah. even the Southern people listening right now, talking about, uh, 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 uh. F- so the show. He could. This is a quiet one. But, he could. But it's oh, bubbling out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tell them what you talking about? Uh, Gossip podcast back. Yeah. <laughs> Want to talk about something else? <laughs> <laughs> no, <go ahead. laughs> it's just always a deeper meaning to this stuff. Yeah, bitch. Long. <laughs> we just gonna sit here in silence. With Kumbaya. Nah. Um. Someone deleted a bunch of pictures of their. Relationship. It don't matter, man. Listen, this is what I'm saying. Some of these blog places are saying that maybe something is happening between Meg and Party like they broke up. I don't know. It's none of my business. That's their romantic shit, and I don't rely on blogs to confirm or deny these things. So, right? But if it's true, the natural obvious question would be, well, why? Like, what happened? And that's it. You answer that however you want to answer it. I've said everything I need to. I needed to say regarding this matter. I don't care about her romantic relationships. I care about this from a music standpoint only. But I do think that there's a take here if this is true. But we too close to the time, so there's nothing to say. We ain't but a week, two weeks, three weeks away. If it get pushed back, it's still only getting pushed back a month. Like we're gonna see what's going on. But what I will say is, if if this just freestyling. Because they got to know something I don't know. 
or somebody sure. don't know. In the event that this case is just dismissed, thrown out, charges dropped, what will it mean for y'all? And what would you like to see happen if that happens? <sighs> Want me to start? Yeah, go ahead. Anyone can start. I don't care. Um, and this is a what, hypothetical, of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What I would I like to see happen. New information. What I like, what I would like to see happen, if with your scenario, charges dismissed, so you know, just over. It needs to be a massive apology to that man. That's the only thing I would think. Now, do I think I will see it? Absolutely not. Uh, I think I think it'll just be more of a. Um. Oh, our bad. It'll be some deflection too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But well, why didn't the other questions? Well, well, well uh, why did this and why? It, it's not gonna be a damn. There was a accusation made that damn near crippled your career. And so you false. would like to see an apology, you same, gentlemen? Same thing. You said damn near. Damn you know how many millions of dollars that boy lost? And we discussed it in full, yeah. so we don't need to get back no, into I'm it. Saying, yeah, so no, you just, also would like to see I think everybody that gave him smoke. I'm talking about man, woman, boy, girl that had venomous shit to say to him should be equally as um, loud and boisterous in their apologies. But the one with the megaphone should be probably Meg. I don't think it's nothing. She could say. The one whose apology should be amplified should be Meg? No. I, I believe so. Yeah, or I think yes. so. Or if not, she needs to be I'm held not. to the fire. What's yeah. the fire? I I mean, what's the fire? <sighs> what are we supposed to do? Somebody, and that's not our job. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But to, I just don't know what the fire is. I don't think she's gonna lose any record deal. No, she's I don't not think she's gonna anything. lose any business deal. She's a mega star. She's not. Gonna she lose may anything. lose some public love. Yeah, but she's got a lot of it. She can afford to lose some of it. I don't, I don't, well, he, she, I just don't see a way where she'll be impacted anywhere to the extent that he was. No. Well, was. that's, yeah, that's not going to happen. But what's more scary to me is if that were to happen and that told the viewing public absolutely nothing. You know, public don't be knowing. Oh, charges dropped. Oh, you know, you can't rely on the legal system. <laughs> Whatever yeah, yeah, they yeah. might that's get to. Happen. Or they just mustn't have enough evidence, but, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll mind my little black business. We'll, we'll revisit. <laughs> yes, we will. Um, what else is important? I will say though about the, what the blogs are reporting with her and her dude. I told y'all fellas that be the that be the bat signal when she go through and delete all of their pictures together. Oh yeah, that's the bat signal. No question. Y'all holla at me. I'm free agent. Uh-huh. That's her letting y'all know she's not talking to no not her. Now, I'm not talking about Meg now. I'm just saying in general when they do that. That's the bat signal. That's the yes. bat signal. Hell yeah, so they want the signal. Joker and the Penguin to come out. That's when they telling you, yo, <laughs> gotcha. shoot! I know you shot the you, you shot the shot before. Shoot it again. Shoot. Yeah, let me dish you that basket. Give that rebound. Dish it back out to you. That's mm-hmm. all that is. Duh, I would hate to be a celebrity. <laughs> Keep it. She's trash. Keep it. That shit looks terrible. It's just a lot, my nigga. Like it's just a lot. People following you every day. Can't even break up with your girl. Can't break up with your dude. Well, you can't argue with you. You can't. Y'all can't have a disagreement. Like, you know, a lot of people wear their feelings on social media. So whatever right. they're going through at the moment, you can't. That's just, the bigger. You issue. can't listen to a song that it's people that post every yeah. breathing moment. But you of don't their have lives. to post none of that shit it's, on social media. I agree. I agree. You know, you talking from, to me from the rip, though. Yeah, no, from go. The, the good, the, the bad, none of it. Yeah, none yeah, of it. that shit. Yeah. You can't post none of that shit on social media. And that's the problem with especially a lot of the younger ones is this is what they grew up in. That's what their life is. So their life is literally based on this. If it's not here, it it didn't happen. happen. Right. So they don't know how to move without this. It's true. This shit is scary. Yeah. It's only going to get worse. I promise y'all. No, no, no. I promise y'all. It's only going to get worse. I don't know. I don't know. What's only going to get worse? He said it's scary. They're going to be a meta beef. Oh, it's going to be nuts. I think I don't. I disagree. Actually, I think that we are in the next few years. I think I've said this on this podcast before. Going to start seeing massive government and political intervention in social media, which is going to trickle down to the way that we act on social media. They're getting too much money. They have too much of a monopoly for that to continue to exist the way that it does. It's impacting too much. Too many people shit. And I think that's going to trickle down. 
but they making a lot of money off of it too, which is who why is? they letting it happen. Who is? Everybody. Everybody. All of the, this government, they they're making, they put money into this to influence elections and shit. This yeah, is but, benefiting them. Yeah, but the other rich guy that's losing the election that has power is gonna bark back. Still got his money. Yeah, yeah. He still got his money. Yeah. Still got his money. And he, he fuck around, double down, and had money financially invested. They're already on doing it sides. all over the rest of the world. It's gonna happen here soon, sooner or later. Rest yeah. of the world, that this that, is what that's separates us here. from the rest of the world. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. We'll see. That, this country, that level of control. Well, we will see. Yeah. We will see. I'm wish. Uh, okay. I'm wish. I'm not saying that. I think that they don't squash every other uh, monopoly that's ever existed in the United States for the most part. Marx is arguing what. The, He's the saying power that of social media. Social media's power is starting to dwindle. He thinks in the next four or five years it'll be limited based on governmental controls and regulations. And I said I beg S- the difference. Such as breaking up monopolies. Facebook owns two thirds of social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, regulation of free speech, probably to some degree, which is both good and That's bad. That's already probably. starting. Yeah, already it's already starting. starting. We're That's already that, no, it. it's. it's I mean, granted, we, we might not it's gonna like get, what it's going to get worse. What, what Big T be saying? It's going but to get worse. But the fact that the powers that be in these net social networks don't like what he's saying is the reason why he can't post anywhere. Yeah. That's that's free speech the same, censoring. The same way TV got censored and radio got censored mm-hmm. and controlled, it's going to happen to social media. I would agree with that. Just, but I just don't. I think that it'll take a longer time to do here. Why? Because America is America, and so mm-hmm. when I say that, I say that can't even get people to wear masks. There you go. I think that they thought that even with the, and you know me and you have starkly different views on the vaccinations and shit. Uh-huh. The vaccination shit has not gone, I think, the way that they thought because they've gotten a ton of pushback. Here uh-huh. it is. Here's the thing about America. <clears throat> this country, we based on, we could do whatever the fuck we want. Uh-huh. Every American believes they have the right to do whatever the fuck they want in the name of free speech. Sure. We believe that. We, we believe that. But, a, that. but that's, but what happens is, a mask mandate. Anything, anything you try to take from them or or make somebody do against their will, enough of them will mount up, protest, resist it, and hide behind free speech. Mm-hmm. And that's what keeps happening with okay. every every little thing. So what you're saying, um, social media and shit, I don't see them coming in and stripping it away. And I'm not saying stripping like, it away completely. Regulate to where you can't start, say this or that. Because you know what's going to happen? They're going to go build some shit over here and they're going to do it over there. Okay. And it's going to take a... No, it won't. Well, a decade mm. and a half for it to get nah. popping. Like, okay, nah. right. it'll, it'll take more yeah. than that. You can't build another Facebook tomorrow. Correct. Not saying another Facebook. Yo, can't. they just had. Yes, you could. No, you can't. Parlor. Parlor. Use Parlor for example. Never heard of it. That's you. They heard of it. Uh-huh. Is what I'm saying. Those who yeah. haven't been able to get their point across, all that um, insurrection that happened. This is where they was discussing this shit at. This is where they were planning this shit at. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, we can't talk here freely. We're going to start this shit over here. Mm -hmm. Big T got his own social media network that he's getting ready to launch, Mm -hmm. which I think is going to coincide with him announcing to run again, Mm -hmm. but that's different. But again, the people that want to hear this, they're going to have some place to go. The second they get over XYZ amount of followers and it starts to be a threat, we're neutralizing that shit. The, the, The Zuckerberg power happened by mistake. Mm-hmm. When I know you are trying to do that again, now we can cut it off. Yeah. That's not going to happen again. That boy got that much power by mistake. Yep. People weren't paying attention. It was a joke. It it's was a, the internet. It was we a kid that, thing. Fuck. Yeah, and it was now, a kid thing. Because I got this much power, y'all can't try they can't to regulate it. So you think we're going to let another motherfucker <laughs> well, saying, come do the Parks same thing? Point. I'm saying back to Parks' point, where they may issue legislation. No, no, no. I got all of this in pocket now. I'm too big for y'all. There's nothing y'all can do about this. I agree with that. Let me jump in really quick here. TikTok was started in 2016. As a oh. joke. You gonna let me finish? Mm-hmm. I don't care why it was started. It's the biggest, big, one of the biggest apps in the world. According to a report by IT security company named blah, 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 uh, they knocked off Google mm-hmm. from its top spot in February, March, and June this year, and they've held the number one position since August. Social network owned by a China based blah, 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 now has more than 1 billion active users across the world, and that number continues to grow. Mm-hmm. Why are you saying that another Facebook can't be started tomorrow? I think that's what the that's what the future of tech is. Everybody keep trying to find the next new Facebook and see what's gonna pop in the next five, ten years. Podcasting is that. True. Like it's not. 
Twirl. I won't argue it, but My, I'm no, just saying I, I agree with your, they your point will that make so another apps can pop up. Find I another think... app that'll pop when fa- let's say let's just say we're hype. talking about bigger. Uh... We're talking about political agendas. We talking about speech. We talking about shit like that. All right, so let me jump. You in can there make real money. Quick, we'll let I, you post then, pictures. Let me jump in there and I'll give it to y'all. For me, typically when I see the government trying to act in conjunction mm-hmm. with somebody, I say, "Oh, y'all can't do nothing with them." Mm-hmm. True. So and we... that's what they've showed me repeatedly with. Fang, mm-hmm. Facebook and Apple and mm-hmm. all of that. When they took them to court, had them on there, they showed mm-hmm. the trial on Each television. Each country keep trying to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they just, keep trying to do it. And the even EU, if they fail, doing it. even if they fail, I always look at it as, oh, y'all trying to get the scoop. Y'all trying to see what the loopholes are, what they aren't, what's allowable. Because I do believe they'll try to come for them, but I don't think you can come for them because... They got it covered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like LeBron being bigger than the, the league now. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like the government working in conjunction with with football. Mm-hmm. Like they big. What are mm-hmm. you gonna do? They make too much money here, and here it's all about money. If you take away or try to intervene in what Amazon and Facebook and whoever them uh, Jack Dorsey, Elon Musk dudes, whatever they're doing, you I think you gonna lose. You gonna lose. I think you lose, and, and I think they know that, or I, will know it. I'm agreeing with you. If you do proper you. risk assessment, I totally agree with you. So why would we allow another motherfucker to get where they are? I don't like how you say motherfucker, <laughs> but go ahead. It's another uncontrollable entity. So when you speak to the, I'm agreeing with you. So how you saying? So how did you saying? So they would stifle uh, stifle it moving forward. How? Absolutely. How? We won't let you again. I think that they showed a picture all the time of how. Netflix started, Amazon started, Facebook started, and whatever the other one, and it's, and it's all beat up white people garages. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If all I need is a beat up white person garage, then and an how idea. can they stop me? And yeah. an idea. Now, how could they stop me? I think that uh, we're going to use your TikTok. I think that if TikTok tried to make a transition to. They're going to. And the way they. Uh, They're going to. TikTok the way, the, is about the, to be a record label. <laughs> well, listen, the way they fucked yeah, with TikTok, which was when Big T was in office. He forced them, which is just, which is just a storefront. Mm-hmm. It like, was y'all in the United States. Y'all got to sell off to a company owned over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no way, or or I'm not letting y'all operate in the United mm-hmm. States. Mm-hmm. Y'all are Chinese owned. They the ops. Mm-hmm. Y'all not gonna be the biggest app in the world functioning in the United States. I don't know what y'all doing. I don't trust there. y'all. Motherfuckers. I don't trust y'all. So y'all either gonna sell off to an American owned company, or you will not be allowed to function in the United States. Damn, yo, I wish I had the brain power to retain. I watched something on YouTube that said how the bank how how um the banks took control of the airlines. And it was a 14 minute piece, but they broke down what frequent flyer really means, some of the laws that was passed to where the banks work hemorrhaging money then they couldn't and they had to take a loan and then they had, didn't have profit and it's just a loss leader. It it broke it down beautifully but damn why is that important right here oh because that can't happen with the internet right like old traditional business business can you can't the bank can't come just do some bullshit the music people can't just come do some bullshit with the internet you got to use it but you can't just resist it the government i don't see how they would be able to resist it through hey, through, on, the, through the service providers isn't that what they tried with that uh, net neutrality? With, yeah, with slowing, with slowing, slowing down. down the, for yeah. like they tried to play them games the at one point. That was against the law. They, they tried, tried it. it. They tried to play them. Dog. Yeah, AT and T tried to do something. When they start calling them matters of national security, and that's how they'll frame it. Uh-huh. Shit happens, bro. Yeah. Try to take the Wi Fi off the Earth for a day. <laughs> you can't. You can't. And watch what happens. You can't. No, but they'll figure out a way to limit it. No, no, we'll, we'll figure or, out. Or, or, like, like, or like in China. And we, they're blocked. You can't access certain websites yes, in China. Period. period. Net neutrality is the idea that internet service providers like Comcast and Verizon should treat all content flowing through their cables and cell towers equally. Yeah, right. See, and that's what they got into on the airline piece that you should watch if you have time. They started getting into why, how there's racism and classism in there because if you fly 400 miles to Boston, it's this price. But if you fly 400 miles over here, it's this price because they knew that this was a destination area. The airlines got wild tricks yeah. going on that yeah. I had no idea about. You Absolutely. should look at it because I'm doing a poor uh, doing a poor job reciting it. Back to this. 
Verizon, uh, that'll never happen. That means they shouldn't be able to slide some data into fast lanes while lo blocking or otherwise discriminating against other material. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of signatures to get this shit off. I don't see it. No, nah, but when they start saying it's a matter of national security. They've been security, doing this for years, like trying to fight when, for this When for years. both of the parties agree that this shit is fucking our shit up, mm -hmm. and all those parties are being controlled by the other corporations it's that done. have beef with... It's done. By, by the time that happens, it's going to be big pharma all over again, and some of those people are going to work on this side. Those people are going to work for tech. Okay. They're going to leave government. They're going to see it coming, and then they're going to fight against government. Okay. And they're going to know That's my what the loophole is, how, yeah. how to get it through, because we worked over there. That dope sick shit is going to happen here. Y'all really believe that we have free speech in this country? Uh, no. No. That's the answer to your question. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm with him. I don't get Once how the that, speech gets too free, I don't understand. Once you get, you feel like you got too much freedom, Kunta, we gonna reel your ass back in here. Yo, they, do you know there's a whole dark web that they have? That they have, and they, they ain't done a great job of stifling yes, it all. They have, they have done a good job of stifling it because any Joe Schmo can't just go mm -hmm. get on there and access information. No, ish, I disagree. No, he's we right. don't have to go he's back right. and forth. I'm he's right. right. He's right. Do you the think average, that's the, the government's doing or dark web's doing? Both. So as long as y'all niggas is quiet and y'all don't reach a certain amount of people, we'll let y'all operate over there. You well, watch you get too look, big. You watch Mayor Mayor of Kingstown. I don't understand what he's saying. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you. May, on Mayor of Kingstown, he went up to the uh, the crypt dude. Hmm. He said, "Yo, spoiler alert." I mean, he said, "Yo, it's cameras in every fucking pole around here. It's an FBI truck a half a block away from here, and they let your dumb ass sell these drugs here." Yes. The Great second thing. you start to make too much of a fuss, we are going to come shut this shit down. Your grandmother and everybody else will be in a motherfucking jail cell. Sit here, sh sell your little drugs, and don't make a fuss. I want to preface everything I'm saying with I don't know. Oh, okay. But I don't wait because I got more to say, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I don't have a mouth. <laughs> I said oh, I God. don't it's, know. It's good. But. What y'all saying to me defeats the purpose of dark web. Can you go jump? Can Do you, you know that the dark web is somebody? But wait, me, can is you to operate? Open, open, go on the dark web right now. Go on dark web right now. I can't. Why not? Because I don't know how. That's Ding what he's dong. saying. That right That's there is what he's saying. What I'm saying. The second that it becomes common knowledge to the masses, they will find they a way to shut, shut that, that shit, shit down. down. Correct. That's what he's saying. Nigga, the nigga that it's was selling. It's cool that a couple niggas know what they're doing over there, how to get on there. Niggas don't know, know about Tor doing. browsers and all of that. No, no, no. I got a better one. Bitcoin was the shit mm. behind closed doors. And the second that that nigga was making all that money and niggas was selling all that skag and guns and rockets and all that other shit with Bitcoin, guess what happened? We went into the dark net and we found the nigga that was responsible and they gave his ass a zillion years. So we'll let you do certain shit and under the guise that you getting it off. But the second that you get too big and we want to come get your dumb ass, we coming. I'm saying. Ain't going to learn you something. But things have been gotten off. Yeah. Yeah, but they're letting, it, they letting they them get letting it off. They're letting you get it off. That's what they're saying. And he's right. We'll let you make a hundred grand. Right. We'll let you make a mil. We'll let you make a hundred mil. When you get to them couple billies, we coming to get you. But You're doing too much. At Apple's... Apple's at three trillion. Yeah, they just provided three trillion. Talking? I don't understand. First company. Yeah, Apple's a social media company. What, what are you talking about? Apple's in cahoots with the I'm Yamis. I'm talking about Fang. And okay. my whole argument. I was talking about social. This whole argument started about social media being I'm regulated. Say, no, uh, I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking about Fang. And I don't care you what they can't do about social media. So look, <laughs> when you start talking about Fang, I'm not getting. But I'm not getting on the internet trying to ship a dead four year old. Somewhere like they probably are doing on the dark web. Or, no, they like we shipping some lungs I'm, I'm, or some I'm kidneys sure. or some. There's yeah. some things going yes. on in the dark web, and, and even if the government is down with it, mm -hmm. all right. I'm just saying it's dark for a reason. I, I know. Yes. And the government moves uh, covertly the way that the streets can move covertly, the way that the hackers can move covertly. I, I mean, am I in right? Am I in you're, line with this conversation? No, you're right. But <laughs> once the covert shit stops being covert and starts being overt, we, we shutting this shit down. Mm -hmm. I think you can never shut down the creators. No, you can't. No, because then they'll you, go create some other shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a cat and mouse game. That, that's the truth. It's always now, been a cat and mouse game. Y'all go hire the most powerful people in the world. I'll go hire the most powerful scammers and criminals. And now we at war. But y'all are losing. They not. 
Cause we have y'all nigga court still backed up. <laughs> I think they're doing it. Can you act like the the the, the government and the the people on the dark hey, web shipping bodies like, yeah, aren't you, working the same, the same for the same shit? Say it again. You're acting like the, the the government and the scammers in the underworld aren't working together. Yeah. I think that's where we're in. Nigga, we allowing yeah. your shiploads of coke to that's, come over here. We're gonna the catch part one. That we don't agree on. We agree that they yeah. all down. Right. Until we you get with, to a point where you start to threaten the government. And when you correct. get to that point. Not even the government. You start threatening an order of order, things. Order, yes. order. You start threatening right. order. order. It's order. almost like y'all know that there's a few Joe Rogan episodes that got pulled down for talking about what's really happening between countries and the war that's in front of our eyes. It's almost like y'all know that and you, y'all are trying to lead us I didn't know there. That. But. Yeah, I don't think the government is worried about us. No, no, nah. no. Nah, I think I think, I, I think they better go get all the criminals and scammers that they could get to win whatever the real war is. <laughs> they keep doing I that. I don't know. I don't know. They, do they it. catch these this little computer scammer niggas. Are a hacker, Bro, they catch hacker. these little computer hacker niggas, and the, next thing you know, he working for the, the Department the, of Defense. Yeah, you in the top five hackers. When you get caught, nigga, you gonna do life in a cell where you looking at gray walls or. We'll give you this computer, fam. Y'all, y'all, no, you want a condo in Malibu, nigga? Dog, right. we seen them. We, we we seen them. We'll be bad boys too. Yes, remember they had the dude locked up. Um, John Sally, John Sally. nigga. Yeah, bring your goofy nigga. ass over here. You seen the shit with Leonardo? Ke- uh, Catch me catch if you, me can. you can. Yeah, yeah. Yes, same. He was shit. the leading check scam nigga in the country. And when they caught his dumb ass, they gave him a job for the government catching other niggas. And they said he. Single handedly, a true story, revolutionized uh, the forensics behind check scamming. Mm. Him personally revolutionized the whole fucking. That's what happens. You get too good enterprise. at something being a criminal. We gotta come it, get you. It, yeah, we'll come, we get, come you. get you. We got to work with you. Because mm-hmm. right. now we don't want nobody else being that good. Yeah. And if you were the best at it, and if I got the best on my side, then I could catch the now. I can catch the rest of the niggas. Right. True. And we'll probably let you get your little homies off. <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you're people Bro, don't get all of them niggas. Yeah, Come yeah. on. We got a team over here now. Yeah. I'm down to di- agree to disagree with you guys. <laughs> yeah, you corny. Why? <laughs> you corny. Because me and you can argue forever. Nah, we can't. You, they tore your ass up. That's why you said that. I'm, I'm, we do agree not, to disagree. Not, not true. I think they were stupid too. You win. That's why I don't argue with them. You win, bro. I don't argue with Joe. That's why. I think all the niggas was calling me stupid was stupid. <laughs> We put the definition up on the screen, as he, Joe said. They stupid too. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with that. They wrong. Yeah, with a straight, about. with a straight ass face. No, no, no. That definition is wrong. Yeah. I am who I am because I don't subscribe to all these traditional bullshit things that they try to put in front of me. That's it's gonna be my. It's, it's to my detriment, but it's to my detriment, and it's to my wealth. What'd you say? What'd he say? Oh, because I believe in God. <laughs> you knew where he was going, yo. You knew exactly where he was going. But, but I don't believe in God because a church told me to believe in God or because my grandma told me to believe in God. I questioned everything about that shit then even. But as I continued to live and when the gun jammed and with some other thing, I was like, whoa, okay. There's something out there. there. It's some divine there something, something out there that is like... That's true. I and, agree. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. Listen, all the fake drugs you done sold the niggas and they ain't come kill you <laughs> and they ain't come light your fucking ass up. God must be real. The fuck is you talking? Yeah, yeah you're selling beef. And, and I'm joking. I, I'm joking because I don't put that on niggas. That's, that's real. Oh, that's man. real serious shit that niggas that's come fun. looking for you for. Yo. But anyway, <laughs> come on, let's move on, man. Oh, yeah, let's, man right. Right. let's move on. What, what well, who you else got? stole the show? <laughs> No, nah, they ain't steal the show. Yeah, let me pull up my little hold up because y'all been just podding away. So y'all podding y'all fun. little hearts out. Let's see. Oh, here's a question. I got random questions for y'all too now. Okay. I like. Random Whoa, that just dropped. That just dropped. Yeah. Let me see it. Let me see it. Pled guilty to federal conspiracy charge. Pooh shiesty. Federal prosecutors have dropped the uh, three other charges against the Memphis rapper relating to an October 23, uh, 2020 shooting in Florida. So they dropped the three in exchange for this. Okay. What are we N- looking at? Nigga, that's the rough one. I know. Fuck them shootings. He can now face eight years in prison. You take that. Oh, yeah, you definitely take that. You take it. Take it. Fed time, 85% of the eight years. You take that. With good behavior, with some of the programs. They do have programs in the six. feds now. Six. Huh? Six. 
Change. No, it's more program. My dad came no, over. No, he's only doing six, doing six years. years. Oh yeah, yeah. You take that over a state shooting, man. With the other shit, with the robbery shit, you take that. I guess. If I don't you don't take it, for. we're gonna try to get the, the yeah, evidence get for these other, other <laughs> for these other, other cases. I know what you're saying. See, I circle right I back know around. What you're saying mm-hmm. you better play ball, or we're gonna hang your fucking ass out the truck. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, you no, know, they can play with Pooh Shiesty like that, not Jeff Bezos. <laughs> no, he's t- no, they can't play with Thang. Well, well, what he's saying is the next nigga Before that's trying to become Thang. Before you get to Bezos, you will never get to Bezos. Well, they won't let me get to Bezos. No, no, anybody. No, no, no. It's gonna be a mistake. They You're gonna realize get to that level by mistake. That we let this nigga get too big. All right, read it. So we're not arguing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what we're saying. That yo, they've seen their mistake. Yeah. They're not gonna let but it happen I, again. Oh, Bezos my argument my is it'll happen again. Yeah, it will. But, but I don't disagree with y'all. But that not they're the gonna same try way to, is all I'm by saying. mistake. That's, that's all, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. the way that we have social just, media man, now. The same way that shit happened was by them mistake. seeing what happened by with the banks, the big oh, bank tycoons, and all of them uh, Rockefellers. Us, we not letting that happen again. Exactly. Oh shit! Steel, same they thing done snuck in here and did it this way. Now it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be another way down the line. It's gonna do it. It's gonna. It'll be another mega mogul tycoon, but it won't get done. Won't be in the same way. In the same way that Zuckerberg did it. You better be uh, a creative and do it another way. Fool me once. You will not do it the same way Bezos did it. Sell your little books. They let the nigga sell the books till he started selling half of China. (laughs) (laughs) What you talking about? (laughs) For real, dog. They didn't foresee that. He didn't foresee that. I just wanted to say that nigga put stores out of business. Hey, but wait, my experience here is. What's synonymous with America for me is y'all not seeing the value until somebody tell it to you. So I don't doubt the ability for there to be a gold mine right in front of everyone's face. In front of all of our faces. And somebody will say cha-cha. Yeah, like all of them have done. Y'all right, it'd be something different, but... Mm -hmm. It's right here in front of us. Back to the oxtail story about what they was doing with the oxtail, throwing really, it to the side so a nigga start cooking. And like, it's really going to be them. That's 50 a pound. It's, it's going to be them <laughs> regulating and changing the way that we use social media and view social media now that spurs the innovation for I'm whatever sorry. the next thing will be. I, I'm with you there. That's how it works. That's the you. cycle of life. Even the medicine. You can't shit. get caught wanna, in the fact let, that we all use Instagram right on. now and think that that's going to continue to be the way of life. It's not. Well, Instagram wasn't even in the t- top 10 you know, I, I was I was Top using it as an example. This year. I wasn't on what yeah. um, most frequent sites, apps, whatever it is for the year. Then they combine it though. They own, so it's just called Meta now. Yeah, they own yeah. Facebook, Instagram, and yeah. WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah, and those three. Bring some are, more shit. Pinterest. But I'm just saying, them three right there though. Yeah, those are the three. Pinterest. Um, Come on, let's bring this right into Oculus. The Oculus is gonna be the end of us all. <laughs> okay. I. I don't know no other way to say it. This shit scares Oculus me. Oculus is a Facebook product. Shout out to Facebook. They sent me one for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the uh, VR, one. VR set, the right? VR yes. set. I got one. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, Ice okay. came, test it out. hooked mine up for me. Uh, shit is pretty snazzy. This is first generation. Apple leaked a picture, or somebody leaked a picture um, of Apple's version. Yeah, it's, it's, Looks it's, sexy. Not, it's not official. It's, I'm just saying. It's not Apple. Yeah. Well, go ahead. But the report, even the little report, if it was a fake report, it said that the car and the glasses for Apple would be the two last things mm-hmm. that Tim Cook works on before he moves on. Mm-hmm. Even if that's a fake report, I could see that yeah. happening. Yeah. So yeah. we'll discuss this as a hypothetical because we don't know. Back to our argument with Android. Who cares who did it first? Yep. I think when Apple drops their version or whatever this is, it's going to be kind of fly, easily accessible. I think it's going to be Probably dope. Probably be a little uh, sexier. Sexier, snazzier. When I put this shit on, I ain't going to hold you. This was great. I told, look, let me tell you. Give it to him, Ice. <laughs> I hit Joe. I said, yo. Now to you... our tech Stop analyst. Stop man. I ain't none of that. <laughs> you the you tech are, guy, but, the South look, guy. I hit Joe. I said, Mad yo, did you, did you set this shit up? Did you set your Oculus up? He was like, nah, no, I ain't nigga, fuck with that I'm shit. Cool. You crazy? I'm a real nigga. <laughs> I was like, I'll be over there in a little bit. Hooked the shit up, put it on. He was like, yo, dog. How does the porn look? <laughs> yo, you sound like the dude on my You watch the porn on it? They yeah. got porn on it? A they few have people porn. have watched the porn. It's, oh, it's right. amazing. Yo, all right. So listen, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I, can, I, can I keep it Can a I keep few, it real with y'all? A few people. Keep it real. So I listen, watch it, yeah. I'm going to keep it a buck. Follow, I've been talking about this shit. So somebody hit me. Dog, you got to see this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay. Like, people hit me. I, I went to the fucking uh, Celtics and Clipper game. Mm-hmm. Through the headset. 
Okay. And sat there and watched the game. Oh, you sat like you could yes. sit in the seat. Yes. A live game. A lot. Li- they played last week. Yes. It's real. It's it's that. I'm telling you, this shit yeah, is that's different. So scary, that's pretty my fun. Nigga. So somebody hit me and said, yo, but you ain't seen porn. And I'm like, I'm not watching porn, no fucking headset. I'm not a loser. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but curiosity says click the link. <laughs> Fam, you clicked on the, the cartoon porn, so you'll watch it in there. <laughs> I took that shit off. Bro, now I get it. A little dick go hard, huh? <laughs> nah, it didn't even... <laughs> dog. Nah, now I get it. That shit was really... I was like, wow. No, I'm now, really... In, no, no, I'll take the shit off. No, now <laughs> I get it. Take the shit off. Now that so he Ice comes you... over, he put he hooks these headphones up. I mean, he, these thingamajiggies. Mm. I put it on. It now looks like I'm in Iron Man's house. Like my house is some fly. I'm overlooking the water. The shit's so real. I almost tried to sit down on some he shit. It wasn't there. I was leaning back on shit. I almost put my coffee down on nothing. <laughs> like, but I'm watching my Netflix in this beautiful, okay. in this beautiful loft or whatever this is. And I'm told that if my uh, partner, a girl I know, has an Oculus. Then she could come in the room and sit down and join me. And that's why. And fam, if we about to go there, that's where we going, bro. And that's outside what, is now. Over. The, now that the Oculus and I think, and this is not an ad. No, I <laughs> think that just in time mm-hmm. when the metaverse shit drops. Now the Oculus shit drops. Now the metaverse shit will start to make sense when Ice says, "Yo, you can go to a live basketball game." And do you think you will your, give a flying fuck about who's posting what on Instagram on you your glasses? In no. Now it makes sense because my homegirl hit me and was like, yo, she was in a club and you had to pay to get in VIP. And if your name wasn't on the elevator, they kicked you out of the VIP in the metaverse. Now that ICE is oh. saying you you can put on these glasses. houses. That's the doofy shit to me. No, no, but, but listen, I'm, I've yeah, seen, but, but, I went but, but, and look, I went to a skyscraper not. and looked at what niggas own in there. And one of the cribs, Snoop bought something. Snoop has a whole town. But, where I'm talking because it's different, like ver, I don't. It's different worlds. Niggas is trying to buy houses cl- to be close. The to The property value went up mm-hmm. because Snoop owns mm-hmm. something over here. Mm. All this shit is fake, and that's where it gets. Confusing. That's the scariest that's, shit but, in the but world. But I can't play right? myself and say that because that's now. what I said with Bitcoin. For now, mm. yep. For oh now. no, let me tell you. The second within within maybe ten minutes of having this shit on, I understood all the NFT shit. Mm-hmm. I understood everything these niggas is doing. With this digital shit, so it all clicked immediately. When, when, when I started looking around, it was like about the basketball game. Oh, it clicked for me because now, if you are in fucking New Jersey uh-huh. and you can go watch the Clipper game with your fucking things on, mm-hmm. now I see how they gonna monetize it. Because no, 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 now let me I'll take pay, it a step further. Now I'll pay to go to the game. Let me take it a step further though. Take it a step further, ice. ish. I got the headset on at the game. It's other motherfuckers there that I could talk to. And you see avatars. At the game. I don't like how you say motherfuckers either. I don't like People. how y'all say that curse. Dog, People. that's crazy. Yeah. But this shit fucked that's me up. Like, shit. real talk. I was yeah. like, okay. I, and, you know, strictly off porn and sports, that shit will be a hit. Yeah. Well, that's, if you if you win porn, you win. Yeah. Yeah, true. That, that's been the, the thing. When when there was a debate as to where uh, digital media, not digital, uh, physical media was going next, uh-huh. it was Blu-ray. Versus high definition DVD, and that's why I made a joke about porn to start this. Yes, because porn drives the technological porn, industry, and that was the heavy. The word was wherever porn heavy. went, really hell yeah, is who will win that that race. Porn went to Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what an HD DVD is anymore. Word. They didn't I don't survive. Know where Blu-ray is even though. Well, it's because everything. I'm talking about prior to everything going digital. Prior to, yeah. Like that was the deciding factor. Where is the porn industry going? Where are they leaning to? And it's one of the reasons why uh, broadband internet is so so uh, widespread. People want to watch that fucking quality video <laughs> in full length. <laughs> niggas, forty four k was niggas couldn't 20, get it on fast enough for the dollar. Like this is cartoony Dude, looking shit. I'm talking about. There's real. Like I was sitting in there, even pulling up YouTube. Mm-hmm. You pulled up. I, I showed Joe. I pulled the podcast up. Uh-huh. You watching on, YouTube on the Oculus? On the, bro, I can watch live TV on here, and my TV is like an IMAX movie screen. I, when I put it on, I said I'm not watching TV in the house regularly anymore. <laughs> like I, I have live television, and I got a hundred inch, hundred foot fucking TV screen, mm. and I'm watching a football game on. Mm. Why do I want to watch I just, my 75? Scary though. I want to know if I what happens if I commit a crime in the metaverse. That's all I want to know. There used to be a movie 
where you had some type of glasses on like these, and if you shot somebody, they would die in real life. It was a movie like that. There was a movie like that. I can't remember what it is. Me, me yeah, either. It was, but what happens if I shoot somebody in this thing? What happens if I just start smacking the shit out of people in the metaverse? Nothing? Can they jump me? Can they kill me? What happened? Can I take my glass? I didn't, I want to know these things. And so I think... They'll if y'all be- got a TV screen that you could lick and taste chocolate ice cream... Look, right. no, no, no. And so in 10 years now, when they find a way to link this shit to your chip that's in your arm to give you the real sensation of getting a blowjob in the metaverse, that's when it gets scary. Well, that's where... Yo... Oh, they, we, they made jokes about better it. Look out then, buddy. Look, look, look. They, everybody made jokes about it when, Keep when your uh, little Black rose. Mirror when Black Mirror came out with the Striking Vipers episode because it was two dudes. So everybody made their little jokes about it. The guy, I don't know what that is? They were still playing video games. They, were, they, the they had the VR headsets yeah. on, but they were cheating with each other virtually. Virtually, and when you start seeing this shit, it's like, oh. That, it's hard to explain. Watch the episode. I'm okay. good. Nah, Black Mirror is some real like that's whoever that shit's happening for a reason. Like these ep- them episodes Yo, are real all shit. of this shit oh, now is just tie in you know, slowly. But it's, it's tying in slowly. Now but, I get it. But it's you know we had this conversation I think off mic before. It's, sci-fi draws from what's happening in real life, Indeed. and then real Indeed. life draws from what's happening yep. in sci-fi. That's so true. somebody posted this question. <clears throat> What if you don't get to choose your metaverse character no, and instead... I hate, I hate when the deep earthy niggas want to get it. I've read it too. <laughs> I, read but, it. But it's I hate dope. the they, earthy they, they niggas. They tagged all of us. But that shit was dope when you really think about it because it's, all this algorithm learning and all of that, what if it's true? It's not, but go ahead. Get it off. It is dope. This is ignorant. Go ahead. Go ahead what read. if you don't get to choose your metaverse character and instead they base it off your internet cookies and how you interact with contacts and people you know on your phone and however you interact with people on your socials, it's how your metaverse character will interact with those people in the metaverse. Now, the last part, okay. He's on Za. That's the Za. It's the Za talking. This nigga's crazy. He's got some valid points. It's, it's very, <laughs> yo, the way all this algorithm, machine learning shit is going, Facebook it's very, does nothing but that's all they get do. Our data anyway, that was the worst. Figure out what they want to show us. Yeah, that was the part I hated about this. The thing about having a podcast is you just argue to argue some shit. Y'all just told me free will's not true. Right. <laughs> free speech. Free, free speech. speech. But which tell me free. I argue free. Free speech is not true. Now y'all telling me they're gonna let us be our true selves in fiction. No, 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 fake no, 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 that's what that's saying. Oh, they probably gonna do that. So if a girl look at <laughs> so if a girl look at food all day in the metaverse, she gonna be a foodie. She, she can't go get her little lipo that she be doing. I'm, I'm glad you said it, not me. Yeah, I, you see, I look this way. Like, uh-uh, you're not leaving you? me out there on that plank. Oh, he tricked me. <laughs> yeah, he, he said yeah. if a girl just eats food all day, then naturally she'd be no, fat. No, I said look. if she looks at food pictures all day. He'll scream, man, man. Somebody back there just market fuck. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, but nah, this scares me, my nigga. Bro, I'm not I'm, even gonna lie. I kind of want to go to what a game, I, though. What did I call? What did I call <laughs> you and say, Joe? I was like, "Yo, this shit really scares this me." Is, yeah. And that's how they get you. They lure you in to yeah. go watch the game. Uh-huh. Now we can all be at the fucking NBA Finals on our Oculus. Yeah. And then they're gonna monetize you going to the NBA Finals now on I your Oculus sell, next year. I, instead of selling, and I can sell you ads in the shit. Instead of sell, selling seventeen thousand tickets, I can sell a zillion tickets. Word. Think about that. Oof. And here comes the ad revenue. Yeah, nigga. Mm. See, that's the only thing that fucked me up about the Oculus. Even in, or I don't have Facebook because they wouldn't let Pepsi. Pepsi look, made somebody snatch their shit off. I don't. I don't have. I don't have a Facebook. In order to even turn this on, you need a Facebook account. I didn't like that because I know what they do. I, I know they own Instagram, but I know what they do as far as data collection and shit goes. I know they're all doing it, but they're the worst. Same company. I know that. That's why I'm not over there as much either. I try to stay away from it, but you have to. They like no, no, no. You gonna get if you gonna get this, you we getting you. You gonna get this work. But be very clear, Apple and Google. I and, said they all do they, it. They're all gonna no. They're all gonna make. A, a oh yes, you you got, everybody's doing it. Anything Google related, you gotta have a Google account. That's true. Yeah. A- anything Google related, you gotta have a Google account. So it's the same shit. It is. Apple, same shit. Yep. Apple ID. Yep. It's the same shit. Yep. So they they stealing data and selling data too, probably. Absolutely. This That's is scary, That's my nigga. This is, is scary. You, you. How long nah. you had the shit on? How long you what had your shit on? The, the headset. A little while. And you was 
Like they showing bro, motherfuckers I, running I, into I, I doors took it because it was yeah I was doing. I <laughs> they was started. Doing I thought you need to go to the bathroom Joe, and get a drink. Joe sat down like he was like oh you you think the couch that you sitting mm-hmm. on when you watch Netflix like if you open Netflix and this shit it's a giant you in a log cabin somewhere it's a huge screen mounted over a fireplace yeah. it looks beautiful. It's the screen I was trying to go out and buy that they told me didn't exist <laughs> or it cost a hundred thousand dollars and like, you have that now it's in headphones Cyanar not headphones but uh. A headset, whatever yeah, that is. Both. Um, we took a brief intermission because Ice has his Oculus here. Now it definitely sounds like an ad. Um, <laughs> and Ice, uh, Ish, and Parks now have seen this a little bit. Mm-hmm. Reaction. Um, the NFT shit, all of that shit was a mystery to me. Mm-hmm. I kind of get it. Mm-hmm. It clicked immediately. With it. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Um, They're preparing for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Also. I mean, this could be a really deep conversation. Um, Go ahead. When Ice talked about um, appearing at the game, mm-hmm. like, my nigga, do you know what that's saying? Like, now, instead of the, the championship being limited to 20,000 spectators, you could now have 6 billion people at the game. Back right. to how I told y'all Instagram got started with somebody at the game just wanted to take a picture at a game. Word. Now they're putting you there. Word. Mm-hmm. So, um... I see now you got to sell this, you got to sell that, you got to sell. People going to start owning all of these actual physical spaces. Mm-hmm. Now it makes a little bit more sense to me. I thought it was... And, the, and, and the point that you brought up was for this to be where it is now, they had to approach people however many years Five, ago six to get years them ago. on board. I think longer than that. Yeah, like for the NBA to allow niggas to come to the game, somebody was at those NBA games a long ass time ago. Mm-hmm. Now it's like when... Uh, I mean, I mean, they were trying to make Apple Pay a thing, and that was more recent, so I remember it. And Apple Pay, they were making announcements of the people that they onboarded. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we got Dunkin' Donuts mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. We yeah, got yeah, yeah. Target down. Mm-hmm. We got, right? Mm-hmm. Um, somebody else did that recently, oh, they too. Slick. Somebody else did that recently. Yo, them white people, <laughs> they good, yo. Even the crypto. Now it's all tying in. Because I, I don't have physical cash, so now I could spend the crypto in the metaverse. Yeah. They good, yo. Fam, even on a Friday yo, night. Yo, they good, On a yo. Friday night now, I don't go to the strip club, and I stay on maybe a clubhouse, Twitter spaces, surf is dominating, having all these conversations. Like, there's just so many places that you could be live from home. <laughs> right. Yo, fam. Now, now they taking it a step further where, like you said, Twitter spaces, uh clubhouse etc now instead of just sitting there talking in here i can see you i can see you and, and in the metaverse physically there you yeah. put your oculus we on in a room. i put my oculus on we all and, in a room and the, and knowing technology how we know it in 10 years they go on i wouldn't be surprised in five years they said put some gel here put some gel there you could feel a physical sensation and mm-hmm. imitate oh, yeah. some physical sensation mm-hmm. so now you talking to some bitch in london or some girl woman, in woman woman in <laughs> dubai yeah, woman. some woman bitch some, <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's gonna give you one. Yo. Say chick. He gonna give you one. <laughs> Anything but yo. woman or her name. He'll people, say already, name and... people already been falling in love on the internet for decades. Now yeah. imagine so now. now imagine you can actually like yeah. sort of feel like you're in the room. So now you dog, that's you dating I'll Rashid, in. he in jail, he in upstate somewhere getting some whoppity from his wife. <laughs> she in, she don't gotta come up here no more. Funny part, if this country was really about rehabilitation. Give all the niggas in jail and ain't supposed to be there. Little Oculus, let them roam around the metaverse. Have a little bit of freedom. That might happen. Here's a little story that has nothing to do with anything, but I'll try to make it come full circle if you follow me, right? On Love and Hip Hop, anytime they try to make you shoot a scene, they tell you not to wear those monograms on your clothes. Mm. But niggas. Mm -hmm. So, niggas going anywhere. When they go shoot in your house, it's really annoying because they take your artwork off the walls and they do all of this because you don't own it mm-hmm. even though you bought it even though you yeah. bought it um the clothes the monograms n- i know you bought it but you don't own it it's recognizable it's trade it can be seen mm-hmm. you do not own it i know that last year a lot of creators were just fronting out there perpetrating a the fraud didn't want to vocalize that they didn't really understand the importance of ownership or why it meant something but here we are. Here we are. Mm. Insert the metaverse. You know, some of these agencies and agents and execs 
They tell me all the time as someone who owns all of my content. Yo, thank God that you own all of your content. It's th- it feels so nice not to go through a middleman or an agency or a manager or a record label or a middle person for the content. It's a headache. I'd rather just to go discuss it with somebody that owns it. Real quick conversation. In this metaverse, they're coming straight to the people who own something. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I know because I'm getting these conversations now. Some of them people still think I'm a musician, so they come to me and try to leverage visibility. We're going to fix that this year, too. It's exec conversations only. Visibility is not making somebody roll out of bed anymore. Not when you can put goggles on and get paid $10,000 from doing a show. Right. Not when you can make an appearance in a room from your bedroom and make X amount of dollars. Like, ownership is really, really important. Last year, we saw a lot of people rushing to take deals. Rushing, rushing, rushing to take deals because nobody really understood the purpose of waiting. But you wait because you don't know. Or desperation kicks in. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Desperation kicks in. Desperation makes you not wait. Yeah. I'm talking about why it's advantageous to wait, even if you don't know why you're Mm -hmm. waiting. That's why. Because tomorrow, I don't know what might exist where it's the perfect piece to what I've been building. And I'd hate to be stuck in some deal where I I am not the person that reaps the benefits of what I have built. Mm. I would rather no one reap the benefits of it. And it just continued to exist until something like this comes about. Here we are, metaverse. How do you stop it? I don't know. But my goal with this pod is super interesting. I want to make this interactive. Oh, that's going to be... I want to put the pod in the metaverse. I want to put the glasses. I want to have the, the fans come sit right here. Mm-hmm. I keep talking about teasing this next Patreon uh, tier. That tier is going to be called part of the show. Mm-hmm. Put your phone number, put your email, put some topics. Let's kick it. What you want to kick it about? N- no longer is it enough to do content. Now it has to be interactive. That's the next step mm-hmm. with everything. It's, inter- it's, it's straight interaction, virtual. Yeah. We're going to see where it goes. She has started out interesting. Yo, this is yeah. crazy. It started out interesting Again, already. I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it fully. Neither do I. And, and I'm, I'm one think, of those. Really but good. I understand that I don't understand. And right. I understand and the magnitude and where it, it can go now. It makes me want to understand it more. Huh? It makes me want mm-hmm. to understand Yeah, yeah, more. yeah. Word. Like, Once now I start I get seeing it. certain shit, like, now okay, I get, I get this now. I'll start pulling this. I'll start piecing mm-hmm. this. I understand where we are basically going virtually. And if you really want to take it into the nerdy, deeper shit... Fam, as an I was I was an engineering major in school. Dog, Yo, you've done everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly, no, seriously, classic man, right here. Yeah. Yeah, you a classic. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you have done it all, yo. No, listen, I should have went to school. Go ahead. You should have. I should have. The engineer's I'd be a bad job, boy. The engineer's job is to basically just make shit smaller, faster, more efficient, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So that big doofy ass Oculus now is going to become smaller and smaller and smaller yeah, and to the point where it's going to be glasses. Or to the point where contact, it's contact, contact lenses. Yeah. Now think yeah, about laces. now you do now you're doing this on your arm because now they're gonna give you a reason to get chipped up, right? So you might be wearing some Tom Brady shit on your arm first, and you controlling it from your arm with these little dumbass glasses. The fam, we gonna literally be living in the Matrix. And yeah. when you take the glasses off, now you outside the Matrix. But niggas ain't gonna want to take the glasses. Niggas off. not gonna want to take the glasses and off because you somebody. Your red, there's your red pill, blue pill. Because no, I'm somebody in here. Remember the nigga said um on the Matrix. The nigga that tried to shoot Neo. Mm. He said, yo, I know it's bullshit. Just send me back to the Matrix and make me somebody important. Yeah. Like a musician or something. You don't remember that? In the very first yeah, the, one? the first Matrix, yeah. He was like, yo, just make... So now I could be in my own metaverse with a couple dollars, and I don't got to be five foot three, 300 pounds. I could be a big stocky nigga because I got enough bread to make my avatar pop. And niggas have been doing that. That's scary, That's what's man. been happening. People been creating... Online you know personas, saying? yeah. But now you get to manifest actually it. manifest yeah. it. Yep. You could be a you could be a six foot two dude with green eyes, curly hair. You know what I mean? In the in the in the metaverse, just out here slaying them. They found a way to put a value to clock. This <laughs> <laughs> is sick, yo. You see this nigga, right? <laughs> Himself. I'm not listening. Classic to man, yo. You ain't got your dinner, classic man, in there, but that's you, bro. No, I'm a real dude. Yo. I'm a real I, dude. I didn't buy classic man. I'm gonna make song. pump it up in the Matrix and get it. <laughs> I don't even know how you spell it now. How you spell it, man. That's my man. He another one. I had, to, I had to deal with him in La Marina like Big Meech was in the club. <laughs> 
classic he, man he, was no, running was, around yeah. in a little suit with yeah, that gel in his hair. Yeah, yeah, he was a problem. Cute looking like, come on, knock mm-hmm. it off, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking slide you across the oh. sand. <laughs> I'm gonna slide you across the sand. How you spell his name? Yeah, go. J I D. You ain't got it. E N N A. Nah, he was a problem. Yo, that's funny, son. Yeah, I ain't no classic nah, man that's in Serato, yo. That's scary, I love though. that song, too, but he's I didn't buy it. Good, he's got a couple good albums, too. No, that's scary, dog. Projects. Think about that long term. That's some shit. See, that's what I, that, that's immediately my thought was, you know, I'm an Apple guy. So I said, damn, first iPhone, 07. What were the capabilities of the first iPhone? Com- the size of the first iPhone, the mm. screen, all of that shit compared and to- And you're not an Apple guy. You enjoy Apple products today. Yeah. That's not the same thing? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, yes, I enjoy Apple. And products. I'm pointing all of it out this year. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay. We getting every we get every one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not playing with none gotcha. of them. This You're year. absolutely right. I played a lot of games with you companies right. these You're last right. few years. Mm. Uh-uh. But Go yeah. Ahead. Now fast forward to 2022. What the same iPhone looks like, it's thinner, bigger screens, and what you can do with it. So then I look at this. And I'm like, fam, we fucked up. We fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way to look at it. Like, this shit scares the shit out of me. Real talk. Uh, in 14 years, our iPhone has replaced. Nobody makes cameras no more. Nope. I mean, you used to buy no, little Nikons and shit for uh-huh. three, 400. Unless you're a real photographer, nobody buys cameras. Now they tried to they tried to vintage that you know the vintage of is course. back in so mm. they Polaroid came out with theirs but again. that's for the hobbyist yeah the hobbyist yeah. it's not now mainstream. you walk around with a camera in your pocket you walk around with a video recorder in your pocket a computer remember a computer. Joe Button TV you used to have that little dumbass no, small I hated that you don't need camera. that shit no more you carried it everywhere everywhere you don't yes, need you that did. shit it no more pull that shit out in a heartbeat mm-hmm. so in fourteen Fucking years camera. a phone is now a staple for every single person walking around. Mm-hmm. Dog, imagine what the fuck 14 years that shit right there gonna look and like. And that's what scares me. That is scary. Right there. That's what scares me about and it. And our kids are coming up, gonna be wearing that shit. Now, I'm at now, now. Which now? Hold on. Hold oh. On. Colleges are gonna start monetizing that. Mm-hmm. You can go to Harvard from home right. and get the same lessons from fucking Egypt to London to New York City at Harvard. In a big ass class with 6,000 students from, the, from your fucking Oculus. Uh-huh. And, That's crazy, my nigga. And you you were talking earlier about how a studio apartment in Harlem was nineteen hundred dollars. Yo, wait till they get a load of me. I'm gonna get some of this spanky, baby. Yeah. <laughs> these apart- I'm, I'm these, gonna get me some of this spanky. I'm with, calling with Jim five, Jones, ten them. all them niggas tonight. Yo, fam, these, these buildings with five ten apartments. You could if if all you need is the goggles and a toilet and a and a shower. They just showed a small ass studio in Harlem with. Some play play cabinets and a closet, and that shit was nineteen hundred dollars. And I'm like, look at this little ass shit. And Parks is like, yo, you don't need a big space no more. Mm-mm. Right? You you sitting at home? You can literally Not work from home. No more. Everything. And so here come my conspiracy theory brain. You can't tell me that they didn't want these motherfuckers working from home as a a precursor to what's to come. Mm. Mm. This could all be by design. Mm-hmm. We eating our tinfoil hats out. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, dogs. Crazy indeed. Yes, it is. Indeed. I think we've unpacked it. Look at we the did. JBP. That's what separates us from the rest. Oh, go ahead. Nah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Podcast, yeah, no dog. It, I'm, it, I'm, it, it's I'm filling itself with 2022. Nah, I'm with him. I'm with him. Nah, I'm nah, with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. Fam, think about well, on the Joe Button podcast, I'm being serious. I ain't even trying to diss nobody or play nobody. Fam, one day you could just be up here and we talking about some silly, goofy shit. Mm. The next day on the Joe Button podcast, we talking about free world versus uh, destiny. Mm-hmm. The next day we talking about the metaverse. The next day we talking about these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you the birds, man? Hit the drop, birds. man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I just think birds. that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love that. I love that drop, by the way. Yo, the fans do too. Yo, that, yeah, do that. That, that drop is like the that shit. shit. That's the one. Classic. That uh-huh. is the one. All right, come on, get your shit off, man. Nah, talk I just talk think to that... these podcasting niggas, yo. Y'all not ish. <laughs> Y'all sitting there interviewing everybody. In the... I can't talk it for you now. <laughs> Mike, check one, two, one, two. I already suffer from wild, aggressive paranoia. Nothing more paranoid than waking up the day after you do the pod 
to your mom upstairs who turns the pod on at six in the morning <laughs> and you hear your voice blasting on top of you like it's the neighbor. There's nothing worse in the world. With so if you're shot. wondering why I'm just going to let this song rock, because I want to hear it tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> I want this to come on and I'll be all right, mom's up up there. <laughs> now, Mike, check. We rocking. We rocking, No, Hey, the boy coming, too. Yep. He coming. Next He's coming. Week. Next week. Y'all know who he is. It's Uh-oh. That let. Hey. Wait, what? Next week. First single next week. Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, Chris is. I, I, I need an album. Nah, it depends. And he I said he a, said the album is gonna. I need the album. The album is gonna have as many songs as his first I, album, which was I think was like 16, 17 Yeah. So he's not going crazy. I know what he do on them singles. Let me get that album. Uh, are you you guys excited about the weekend dropping? I am. It's Friday. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on which weekend we are getting. Nah, more than Chris. Y'all know where I stand when it comes to yeah. CB. Like. Anything stops. So I wasn't comparing. I was just no, no, no. Well, it, it said that he said not. We're more excited about the project coming. I am. I'm looking forward. This to is the, the first project. weekend project we get with no single, right? Yeah. Damn, yeah. And he put out that picture that said, "You know what, guys? Everything feels chaotic again. Music can heal, and that feels more important than another album rollout. Let's just drop the whole thing and enjoy it along with the people." XO. Hey, it's dope. That's not bad. Doesn't that's get doper than that. Yeah. And you gotta pre. Yeah, it's this it. Oh, let me find a way to hate on this, cause this is dope. But when you're the weekend, this is fake. This is smoke and mirrors. This is rollout. I don't need a single anymore. This is rollout. The rollout. This is the rollout. Yeah, roll this is the roll out. yeah if you really ain't want to roll out, then drop. You just it. dropped like Beyonce yeah. did when and I was in Sin City. It, that's yo. I yo. never saw Sin City freeze <laughs> and nobody pay attention to dancers and strippers the way I did when Beyonce dropped that surprise album. Lemonade. No, yeah. no, no, no. No, whatever no, the no, surprise. Beyonce. We, yeah. Yeah, Beyonce. we didn't know it was coming. That's the name of it. That was the name of it. That was the Beyonce album. The she one that dropped. nobody knew was coming. It just uh-huh. fam, that shit just the randomly stripper dropped. Stop shaking ass. It was like, yo, you know, beach is dropping. <laughs> <laughs> nobody could believe it. Yeah, that was. Nuts. But I fuck with the weekend friend of the show, even though he's never been to the show, and no single signifies to me. It might, it might have some House of Balloons heat on there. I hope so. Cause he wouldn't tell us less enjoyed with the people if, if he had, if he had pop. some fucking silky sonicy shit coming. Y'all don't want to talk about how that shit came and went, too. <laughs> Yo, this year I'm bringing it back talking about how you niggas that shit came and went. Boy, did it come and go. It did. They made enough off that one, though. Oh, it's it, them. It, it, they, yeah. it's, it's still them. It's still them. Now. It, yeah. All right, so now. And that other it's one. still them. That other Yo. one is like a TikTok fucking smash. Smash it. Real oh, this. So this bitch. Yeah, that, that shit is. Yes. Mm. So you take this, this album. This album was success for them? Yes. Okay. Hell no. I didn't, I wouldn't. As think, far as not artistically, no. I didn't think and so. Not, not, hey, where they at? Where, where they at with record sold today? I would just assume gold. They, did, they did 104 first week. But they really dumb. So nothing I'm saying should be held yeah, against not. them because they really dumb. But this project was some Atlantic rush job bullshit that they made us wait for. They could have dropped this in the summer. Yeah. Uh, I think it was successful. I don't think reception wise, this was a success for them. I don't think numbers wise, this was a success for them. Why Logan? I don't think first some week people wise, like this shit was... though, yo. Some people like this album. Hey, listen, we don't care. Why uh-huh. Logan Paul think Floyd's supposed to pay him <laughs> before Black History Month? <laughs> who wants? Who wants to tell me? <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. This is the headline from some shit. Floyd Mayweather earned so much from the Logan Paul fight that he could buy Jeff Bezos' jet. Who cares about that? But Logan Paul retweeted this article or some article and replied saying, yeah, (laughs) that rat bastard hasn't paid me in six months, but it's fine. We'll make the money up in other places. To that, you gentlemen say, (laughs) I mean, I hear it a little quiet in here. What you supposed to do? Like, yeah, nigga, you got to wait. If he don't pay you, what, what can you do? Yo, and you landlords out there that are demanding rent on the first, man, die, suck me at a dick, yo. <laughs> yo, I can't believe that there are people out Look there. Look at Ish face. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, though, no, I don't even understand how Ish agrees with that. As someone I didn't in that say business. a word. Yo, the first. And the first on New Year's? The, I didn't say a word. Yo, the first, fam, I'm never paying I you never on been the a, first, I've never yo. been that landlord. 
Yeah, come on. That's just aggressive. Like, I don't really charge late fees or nothing to my tenants unless you you were just obsessively late. What's like, obsessive? But what's obsessive to y'all? Like, like the when third you start month, making, it's like, all right, yeah, you playing yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Like you start <laughs> just being overly crazy. Like even yo, dog, my tenants and I, I seen some of my tenants' kids grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how long. Like I would sell See, a house. That could get tricky. Dude. I don't want my tenant talking to me like we friends. Nigga, pay pay the rent. No, but <laughs> but you, we ain't family. Every, nigga. Everybody know yeah, that. Cool. Everybody that knows me I, knows. I'll kick you out in the winter. They they know I'm a procrastinator. You so. and Raheem could get on the street. <laughs> that's a joke. It's it a joke. It ain't though. Nah, I, that's why I'm not a owner. That's why I don't sign artists to a record label because I know what <laughs> should happen, and I couldn't do that. I can't mm. fuck these niggas, man. I can't. And look them in the eye. These niggas be good dudes. Don't be giving them a fuck deal. So let me ask you a question. I'm just... Give it to me. Playing devil's advocate now. Give it to me. We we need content. (laughs) (laughs) I'm listening. How do you feel differently about Jake Paul? Logan Paul, you mean? Logan Paul. Jake, Logan. What do you mean I feel differently? Y'all laughed because Floyd ain't paying him. No, he should get paid. Oh, okay. But... (laughs) All of those little... <laughs> What's the butt? All those little jinky tricks that push the payment back. You know Floyd was going to do that shit. How Logan Paul didn't know that is what I'm saying. I'm not saying he shouldn't get paid. He probably will get paid. He's he going to get paid. But in a timely fashion? <laughs> no, Floyd is in Russia with fucking Fendi thigh high boots on. <laughs> he got the jacket to match. Some new other watch from a diamond from a country that hasn't been found yet. The shit from Don't Look Up, the planet that was the asteroid that was coming <laughs> to hit us. His diamonds look different. They dance different. Logan Paul, you purchased that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this off you. You bought that, yo. You got to wait a second. I don't have it right now. Because <laughs> I spent it. <laughs> I ain't got I it, I spent man. your shit, yo. I spent that the second you made it. They paid me on the spot. You ain't worked to really get paid on the spot yet. When I make these jokes, do people think that I'm really a foul nigga <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that I gave bad contracts to like, all of the yeah. creators? Because I didn't do that. Fuck them niggas. I'm not living by their truth. Suck them at a dick. Yeah, stop stealing my shit. <laughs> hey. Yo, anyway. Yo, speaking of. Uh, J- Logan Paul okay. deserves his motherfucking money, man. Yeah, I ain't listening. He's going to get it. Go beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got your money. Go take it from him. <laughs> 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 it's a different fight Hello. outside the ring, Joe. What you think? It's a different fight outside that ring. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, nigga? It's gonna be worse outside the ring, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that Florida hit that nigga with a 97 piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ish. Yo. You're right. A, it would be a different fight out there. Very different. I, same result, I think. Oh, <laughs> work. No, no. Oh, work. Different result. Yeah. Much faster. Yeah. Be, yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Did it, beep, beep. And, I'm, and I had your money on me in cash. <laughs> I was here. Now I'm not getting it. Now you ain't getting it. You're not never getting it. Once, that. You're not once getting the hands go up, you don't get your money. You can't. Um, This we, is funny to me. We have to say. <laughs> All right, hold up. I was trying to be serious for a second because we we in hour three or the third hour, and we have not said rest in peace to Betty White. We have not. Mm. Dan Reeves. Mm. Dan Reeves. As well. John Madden. Mm. Yes. Somebody else died. Tracks a million. Tracks a million. Yeah. Max Julian. From Whoa. The Mac. yeah. I didn't know that one. I didn't know that yeah. either. Yeah. The Mac. Yeah, people, people transitioned, yo. Like... The end of the year, it didn't slow up. As soon as we stopped potting, people started passing, rest in peace, and prayers, love, and condolences to their family, fans, friends, loved ones. If there's any consolation, though, these people passed away after living long, fruitful lives. You know what I'm saying? In their 80s and 90s. They're accomplished. They left their mark on society. It's a big difference when we in here talking about motherfuckers that died at 28 from violence. You know what I'm saying? So even though it's still unfortunate, this right here, if you had to go, she passed away at 99. It's a hell right. of a life. You and, know what I'm saying? And Pictures somehow, with Easy e and, and Jay-Z. And, and somehow, I bet it was sudden to a lot of people. Yeah, because like, I don't certainly, think certainly, it's the just, suddenness you, of death. Even though you know it, you just don't expect it. I didn't expect I thought they was joking like they do every other year. Right. Because that does come up every year. for mm-hmm, mm-hmm. years. But I'm with you, Ish. 99 years. It's a hell of a life. Close to 100. Outlived 
her peers, her coworkers. What a life. Round of applause for not only changing the game, but doing it without being a racist. Mm, true. Wow. True. Wow. Especially when you were born in that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't. Because that was instilled in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that was instilled in them. Yeah, we got to shout out to Betty, uh, Betty White, man. Capricorn, yeah. You know I mean? John Madden. What more can we say about Mr. Football himself? Mm hmm. We uh we addressed that on Patreon, but I didn't feel like that did enough justice. Yeah, John Madden, we love you, yo, and thank you. Word. I'm watching the doc later. I am. Yeah, I gotta watch it. Dan Reeves, Giants, legend. I was about to say one couple, of your couple Giants, different teams. Guys. Falcons, Falcons, Denver, Denver. Forgot about Denver, Denver. He yeah. won with Denver. Wow, rest in peace, man. And again, prayers to your families because during the holidays and during a new year. Horrible, horrible, horrible time. What happened? Is Another Capricorn. I don't like that shit. Oh my <laughs> Jesus, yo. <laughs> Back to music. I hate music, yo. <laughs> yo, if it's up to me, we're going to talk about music a lot less this year on this pod because I don't give a fuck. And the musicians don't give a fuck. Y'all can't trick me. Y'all don't really care, yo. And if, you, and if you do care, he care because he's new and he's young. Mm -hmm. That's so why he care. The new and the young people I'm not really talking to. But let's deal with it. Roddy Rich says he had enough of y'all shit. And my shit too, probably. FTS3 coming 2022. You niggas is playing with my top eye roll emoji. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, Roddy Rich is a new act whose first album went through the roof, through the mm -hmm. charts, through everywhere, broke all types of records. He came back with his sophomore project, project that did none of the above. Uh, actually got some wild reviews and not the greatest of critical acclaim. Uh, you think this is funny? Why? Because, because the young niggas is emo. Yeah. But like I'm the niggas emo, act like so. they don't care, <laughs> but you care. Like I'm you, care. you, 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 you jump that quick to announce your, your mixtape "Feed the Streets" three coming. All artists care. Yeah, yeah they Nothing care. Wrong with that. But I mean, don't act like you don't. That's all. But when did he say that? When did he say I don't care? And when you when you boast, I, I, and we had this conversation before. You said this is what he's supposed to do, but when you set a expectation for your project and it falls vastly short of that, mm. and you're reading what everybody is saying. This is this is your way of saying yo y'all got to me. It's funny to but me, but that's good. Yeah, if the music match, I hope it is. It's good when you, when an it's artist good that can he channel. Even give a fuck. Right. Yeah, it's good that he's saying, "All right, bet I'm getting right back in the studio." I applaud that. He could say, "Oh fuck y'all, suck my dick, y'all not getting nothing now." I don't At least no time soon. I don't think he can do that. Him financially, not even financially. I, you ain't, you're still new. They could be off you tomorrow. You gotta keep, you, you came off of the first project, please excuse me for being antisocial, which, like Joe said, through the roof. Uh -huh. I think what you're saying is like traditional stuff. Yeah. Like think, artists from my day felt like, hey, the fans get, they can, as soon as they get on you, they could get off you that fast. Mm -hmm. Today, the artists don't really feel like music has to keep them because there's so many other things I could do. I could just show you my day to day I'm today and I could keep an audience to sell or show something to. It doesn't have to be music. I'm talking about to the people that are invested in you. They feel like they didn't get you getting heat from somewhere. And it ain't just the fans. But you could still have the reaction of fuck y'all. You could rebel against that heat. I don't think he could have the reaction of fuck y'all because he's still he's still too new of an artist. Well, it would, that, he could still react that way. It just would be to his detriment. <laughs> True. It would hurt him, but he could still have those feelings. He could add Antonio Brown this. Mm -hmm. But he didn't. He said, got y'all, heard you. I'll be back in the studio and we'll readdress this when the time comes. Good. I applaud the young dude for that. Good. And, and he, he didn't say this in a salty way. Yeah, didn't come We've right. seen this and done the salty way. Yeah, we have. So I don't want to paint this like he seems perturbed. Yeah, because he could have. I'm sure the album still sold a certain amount of numbers. He could have came out some on. commercial success. He could have fought back. Yeah. He could have popped this shit. He could have been like, "Nah, that shit crazy." Remember, Chance did that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I remember to answer your question. Yes, he did it. Put out that family fun family reunion album. Mm -hmm. Well, I applaud him for it. 
Nobody cared about that. And he fought it until he couldn't fight it. He still ain't ex- acknowledge that. No, he did. Nah. They can't that whole tour canceling thing. Like remember when everybody was doing that canceling their tours because their tickets was low? And giving you other reasons and going away and never mentioning it again. Roddy yeah. sold sixty three five hundred and four thousand copies of the album. That's including streams. With three uh three thousand two hundred and thirty three of that number coming from pure sales, this sales, this is a low number than his first album, which did one oh one K and did that for the rest of the year. <laughs> This is a big drop off. It is, but I support him. I think he'll get it back together. He's young. He's young. He's, he's young. Got, he's young. Yeah, he's he's young. got a shot, and I like his attitude. He's got an ambition. He's going back in the studio. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to fault him for it. Yeah, you can't go away for that. Yeah, I'm not. Um, Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder and the wrap up. Did we discuss this yet? No, no, no. no we did we not listen to it. We listened to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I listened to it with you guys, I didn't get past the first line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still kind of confused at that first line. And I think it's corny. There's nothing not corny about it. And I think a lot of niggas that we like and fuck with do a lot of really corny shit. And some of them, in this attention-starved era, turn up the meter on the corny. This first line is corny. That was the Nas X line, right? Mm -hmm. It's corny, yo. Not only is it corny, it's unnecessary. As a songwriter, you putting that as the first line to a 14-minute record, you clown chasing it, and it's junky shit. It's junky shit. That was intentional. You the junkie doing that. And I'm not saying that about Uncle Murder, who I know, love, fuck with, and respect. I'm talking about the character that he portrays when he does this. Mm. The shock jock. I'm pissing all the rappers off. Uncle Murder is the most lovable guy when you meet him. We all fuck with Murder. He ain't pissing nobody off because he know most of these people, uh-huh. and they know and they know what he do. So when you start with this person, ha- I'm not even going to repeat mm-hmm. it because yeah, I'm not bringing that energy into the year. Mm-hmm. I know people that have uh, HIV mm-hmm. that live with it, have lived, lived a certain life. This is what this is what this is what they got, and now we gotta. This is not. I'm not, it don't do it for me. That's me. Listening with y'all, I heard the rest. Some funny stuff after that. Yeah. The line about me was funny, the line about the fellas podcast, and there's a bunch of funny shit in here. Once that's line one, I don't know what you want me to do or say. You want me to critique this as a song or as a wrap up or your beat selection or your lyrical prout? Like, what do you want me to do when you do that? I don't stand on that side of the fence. I don't support it. I don't condone it. I don't fuck with it. And I'm not really bisexual. This just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> you gentlemen. It was funny. I'm mean, not the line, that line. The rest of the record, there's there a lot of funny shit. Oh, we, laughed, it's, it's, we yeah. laughed all through it if you can get through line one. <laughs> like, if you make it through line one, there might be some funny shit in there. Yeah. But when you put that at bar number one, how many people didn't hear? You know how much work goes into this? Like, why do you just cut yourself short just by putting some ignorant, stupid shit in the front that's going to do nothing but offend? Nobody's going to love you more for that. Well, maybe somebody will. Somebody will. I take that yeah, back. I was going to say, I take sure, that back. I'm sure. Somebody will. Yeah. I take that back. I'm wrong. Because you could be hateful and receive love for uh-huh. the hate. But again, this kid is a child, yo. You niggas is niggas from Brooklyn. Real niggas. Stand up niggas. Ten toes down. You niggas is corny, yo. You niggas is corny continuing to pick on a kid. It's starting to make me mad because a lot of y'all niggas play tough. Like, why this little kid got to deal with Boosie, (laughs) Uncle Murder? Every time somebody want to get hot, they got to say his name, but nobody fuck with him. That's what I don't like. That part right there. If you don't fuck with him. Leave him alone. If you don't fuck with him. Hey, he damn sure ain't fucking with y'all. He's troll king Mm -hmm. and ain't fucking with y'all. I just don't understand it. I'm not pandering. These are my true and real thoughts about these two bars. Gentlemen, I, I agree. I agree. You, you nailed it. Like I don't. I like just that. don't understand, yo. I, I understand it because I know. I I know what we we talked about off mic earlier. Crazy. When you look crazy through shit, it and you crazy. see the things that people are doing to get attention, yeah, to nasty. get numbers, to get strength. Like that's the game that they playing. Mm. And this is what there's a reason for that being bar one. 
He know what's going to piss. There's a reason for bar two being, I hope the LGBTQ don't cancel me. There's a reason for that. Like, I, I'm trying to get that attention. Because even the negative attention is attention. Some people believe there's no such From thing. From a nigga that hide all fucking year until the end of the year. Yeah. It's weird. It's Everybody, weird. If, if I say that line, everybody's going to say, oh, did you hear what he said about this? The mm. blogs are going to go. This is, this is clickbait. Fam, yeah. Sam, Sam this is clickbait. putting this line here, not, not even a quarter removed from the little baby, uh, from the, the baby rolling loud debacle. This is nuts, yo. And, but okay. if you want me to give you, I, I can't give you creative points for this bull. I can't. I can, not for that. Not for that. It's corny. And at some point, somebody in hip hop got to act like niggas is mature and was raised correctly or learned something in the last however many years. We can't just keep being products of where we came from. We all came from the same place. We all came from no information. Crabs in a barrel, shoot it out, fight it out, survive, persevere. We not, not most of us ain't there no more. Mm -hmm. So this can't be okay with me. With me, I hope I don't sound like I'm angry because I'm not. This is, I don't have a horse in the race, but I'm on the side of right is right and wrong is wrong. And this is nuts, yo. This is nuts, yo. Take your creative ass and go make a song with a hook that somebody care about that ain't leaning on a little fucking kid. Who's fucking whoever you want to fuck? Ain't nobody asked Uncle Murder who he fucked. The fuck out of here, yo. You niggas got my number. Whatever you want to say. You can't call me and, and we discuss this. You can't defend this on the phone with me. I don't know what you niggas do in your own friend groups. This is weird. And I think most of you niggas is weird. And Murder, I love you. But this character shit is corny. Gentlemen. Again, outside of that, the rest of the record is is funny. That just doesn't belong, and I'm with you. That part is corny. I'm I'm tired of all of these dudes clout chasing off of this dude that y'all don't yeah, fuck yeah, with. So it's because that's my the rant, part that I, my I just rant don't ain't get. about murder. No, no, no. It, 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 it's, it's, it's been a year this with this kid, yo. Like, like come on, man. Y'all don't fuck with him. He ain't in y'all lane. He doing his own thing over there. Leave him the fuck alone. Your or, fans ain't checking or, for or, him. Or don't leave him alone and let my brain really get into why you so obsessed. Because don't think that I'm not home trying to figure out why you might be this obsessed with this little kid. And I have answers. Same. <laughs> I'm not going to say them. Not today. But I might. One day. Salute murder. Yeah. I hope that you get everything you were looking for by writing, by writing this. Mad Skills did one. Did he? I don't know. Yeah, I'm did. taking yeah. y'all word for no, it. No, he did. He no, did. He did. I, I, liked, I like Skills better because he, he raps better. This is more jokey jokes. Skills actually wrapped his rap up. And he didn't do it in an attempt to be disrespectful to anybody. Like, no, no disrespect to murder, but that's what they run to his rap up for. For sure. We want to hear the disrespect, the negativity parts. Mm-hmm. Skills addressed everything that happened this year in like a timeline and did it without trying to You know you why off. I don't like it from murder though? You the same nigga that changed your name from murder. I remember that. And then changed it back. Man, come on, man. Stop. You niggas, I, I, seen, I seen you tough ass niggas dancing on top of executive tables to get your song. You, you niggas, boy, y'all pick and choose some shit, boy. We gonna pod this year. Y'all keep it up. Y'all go ahead and keep it up. Where we at, man? Oh, it's my job um, to figure out where we at. Well, wait, no, no, no. Um, we because <laughs> it's in, talking about mass skills. In, in, the, in the wrap up, in Murder's wrap up, for those that got to it, he addressed the Jim Jones and uh, Freddie Gibbs situation. And Freddie Gibbs responded. Because he he threw he some, another one, yo. And I'm listen. It, somebody got to say it at some point. He's doing too much internet. I've never seen street niggas internet this much. This is a lot of internet. Yo, remember back in the day where you had to really you, try to My thoroughly God. explain the internet to your street niggas. Mm -hmm. Remember their first reaction. Mm -hmm. 
Do you remember that? I do. It was comical, yo. They didn't give a fuck about what you was. T- no, nah, right. they looked at the shit. Like no, it was they goofy. was like, nigga, that's the you the fat fuck. Yeah, they looked at it like it was goofy. Fuck out of here. And I have it written down for other reasons, but it's funny if you have been around. You old, we old. Mm-hmm. This gets super funny when you just really think about all the phases that the internet not only has gone through, but what it was when it started. Mm-hmm. No, where society was talk when about it the wild, wild west. That was where you went to get a nigga to kill himself off they sell you yeah. talk some yeah. shit. Fuck you, suck this, hear mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They was leaking shit, everything. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the dark web, but no, it no. wasn't today's web. No, no, no. Mm-mm. So to see where we land today, where you say, yo, street niggas are just doing all of the interneting in the world, you couldn't have hit that further out the park. And I cannot understand why. No, the part that really fucks me up about it, though, is I don't get the it. street niggas are, and this is off Gibbs, in general, are the ones on the internet saying, yo, don't play with me. I don't do that internet shit. That's true. On the internet. That's true. No, some of them don't. Gibbs. No, no, you don't. Say- and some of niggas will get on there just to make a point and be like, "Yo, fam, I'm telling y'all now." I ain't I've heard him. about I've heard about two niggas getting shot on Clubhouse in the last two months from a room. Really? Just to let you know where things are in the world. Hmm. That whole pull up on site, drop your addy location thing. Hmm. No, it's a real thing. These young niggas I can't mean understand that. that either. But they on they in rooms saying, "Where you at?" I'm outside. Come out. <laughs> Nigga, that drop your location is a real thing. When somebody say, yo, drop drop your location, fam. Back to this, though. And and listen, that's an audio app that, that people are doing that on. That's crazy. T- that's Times, the, if this is a different, this is, this is a different, out. what they call Generation Alpha's coming. Like, you think it's crazy now. Back to Fred, Freddie Gibbs. What did Freddie Gibbs do? So many New York rappers on my dick right now. I can't wait to go to y'all city and show you how to sell it out. Uh, bike, bike. That's me back to back because he says he has two shows in New York. And I won't call him. I don't call these niggas when the, the truth need to be said. And I no, don't you, know if I'll say it here. No, you should call him behind closed doors because that's, you consider him your friend, right? It's my man. Yeah, so you should consider him. And that, he's younger than you. Or around my age. But he One younger than you yeah. in this particular business. So this is the time where older niggas need to be like, yo, you out here looking goofy, chill the fuck out, if that's how you feel. That's what big brothers really start needing to do. Fuck big brothers. That's what friends really start need to do now. Yo, reel your niggas back in when I they know, start but, looking stupid. I know, but he hit me and had something to say about how I covered the story. Yo, you didn't tell the whole story. Nigga, I don't know the whole story. Nor am I looking for the whole story. I come in and I got to unfortunately talk about the shit that is being reported or spoken about or what we see or what we heard. The end. If there's a story to be told, nigga, get on your fucking platform and tell it. I'm not no nigga messenger. The fuck is we talking about here? And all I've seen since is like this. And that's my man and I love him. So I'm minding my fucking business. But this looks nuts. I can no longer come in here and pod and tap dance around you niggas looking nuts, yo. I can't. It's just going to be what it's going to be. This looks wild. Let me tell you something. New York City Times Square, my old brain thinks uh, it should be secure and protected. Y'all have taught me that's not true. We've seen people die at Irving Plaza. We've seen people shoot at the W at 3.30 in Times Square. Mm-hmm. When they caught pocket quad, at least it was nighttime. And yeah, that was a night. different Times Square. Yeah. True. But I'm just saying, to, different today, time. Okay. Mm-hmm. they don't really give a fuck. So if for two months out, you keep saying, yo, when I get to New York, when I get to New York, when I get to New York, sold out show. Nigga, we don't care that the shows are sold out. Like, why is he mentioning that still? We care about your safety. Your people's safety and everybody, the, the concert goers' safety, right. mm-hmm. the patron's safety. This is the worst time in the world for you to be getting as much money as you getting to endanger people or to even Im- put that or, out or imply yeah. Yeah, to even put it out. that money could be lost because it might go down. Now, just one night, two nights in a row. Are you rapper niggas this fucking stupid? 
And if you are, I have to address it because my kid listens to you fucking stupid niggas. The fuck are you saying? You know how many times I almost got shot in Buffalo? I don't really know either, but it was rough for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough for nah, me. Yes. That one little opening act, I don't nah, know what I was on. Man. I might have been high. I was talking some shit. They surrounded the building. Don't know how we got out of there, but we got out of there. Shout out to Salute to Buffalo, yo. Yeah. Fuck with y'all. But it could get bad. <laughs> it's always my only point. Yeah, yeah. It could get bad at any major city in the yeah. United States of America. And if Even it got major but cities. if it got bad, see everything in our life we responsible for. If it got bad, who the fuck are we to blame when you are antagonizing someone who almost lost their life? And now you have to go to their city. True. That's true. What niggas are y'all used to? That's I can tell y'all about the Jersey get... City niggas. I know. It's why I sit right sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Go ahead, yo. No. You are absolutely right. <clears throat> Go ahead. I don't Go understand. Ahead. I like. I just don't get I'll sit here you inviting shit. Like I don't get you putting this energy. I'm big on energy. Mm -hmm. You're literally putting this negative energy out. Like you want something to happen at this show. Yeah. Like you that. keep telling these niggas who are from here. Come on, man. Yo, I'm coming up there back to back. Night. Like this is what are you doing? And you're not a kid. So we can't even blame it on No, him. we can't. You young. Because you know that'd be my cop. Right. Yeah, they 19, they 21, they 22. It's the generation that they grew up in. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, when you when you almost 40 and you a street nigga, quote unquote, you know how niggas give it up. You know how niggas give it up. Fam, I've, this is the same person I've seen I'm have good. a problem with another rapper and brag about, yeah, he ain't bring his ass to this city. He didn't bring his ass to my city because he knew he canceled that date here. I remember this. Mm. So it's like now to see you turn around and antagonize niggas saying, I'm coming to your city. Like like Joe said, you putting fans at, at risk. Like you, you just doing too much, bro. And, and you, you, and and you, you too good of a rapper and, for that. And you putting police on notice, man. Stop this. Yes, stop that's what this. I that's what stop, I said last stop time. This, yo. Stop, stop. I'm not, this reminds stop, me of police games. You stop this internet fuckery, yo. That shit work on the niggas who don't understand internet. They need to get what's the shit they used to teach you Spanish? Rosetta Stone or some shit. They need <laughs> and, and Rosetta Stone for the internet. This is wrong. And I have to say it, because God forbid something happened to somebody yeah. in New York or Buffalo. And by somebody, I don't just mean the main performer. It could be anybody. Anybody you come with should be safe. This is a bad time for this. Bad time. Read the room, nigga. And Freddie, I love you. I love you. You my guy. I don't call your phone as a courtesy because I'm sure it's going crazy and you busy with work. And I don't have nothing positive to say about this. But I love you and I wish you the greatest, of course. But stop, dog. Stop. You too dope for this. Stop bro. it. You yo. ain't got to resort to this. That's my only beef. Stop it. This ain't it. This ain't it. Um... What else do we have that is important? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson, I'll save it. Ghislaine Maxwell. Did y'all see? Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, While oh, I'm oh. on it. Go ahead. Because I have one. Go ahead. Well, no, you go ahead. I'll rethink this. I was about to invite a few niggas to, to a fight. So you talk. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't need that. Um, I was no, going to no, no, wait, 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 wait. Inviting niggas to a fight? This, they are sanctioned fights today. Oh, okay. Where niggas fight. Oh yeah, sanction cool for money. Mm -hmm. Money goes to charity, or you keep it if it's negotiated properly. There's undercards to big fights. Fight don't just mean the hood version of fight no more. Fight can be business, All right? So who so you there's fight? a few niggas I would beat up for the business just to do it. Oh, I tried that before. He didn't want to sign. Yeah, but I was home minding my business when I seen Troy have on on uh, Academics podcast because they friends and. Troy Ave said on that pod that there's no real beef. He explained this point. I understand this point. It's not real beef. He also said we could fight at any time. He said he's about peace and love. I agree with that. He went through a lot. I'm about peace and love too. But that don't mean I can't beat you the fuck up. Like we can work that out. That's my God, man. I don't want to see y'all fight. I don't want to see y'all fight, I'm saying. Hey, for his sake, me either, yo. Me either. Hey, which camera's me? All of them? <laughs> you better chill out, man. What... Because he said that I turned down the $50,000 offer for a fight. And he's correct. But I only turned it down because I'm not doing nothing for $50,000. <laughs> I didn't want to tell him that because it seems bougie. 
But don't think I can't beat the brakes off of you and be bougie leaving later. We'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. I'm going to call Act. We're going to set it up. We're going to set something up, see if we can get something for what I need to beat him up. Yeah, I need five. I need five on it. I need half a ticket. What if you lose? I'm just asking. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Then I lose. Right, just ask. Yo, I don't say. I you don't know how some niggas like, nah, I'm, I'm not taking no what you, do, you, what know? you know, I don't think I can beat everybody up in the world. Nah. What are you talking about? And there's no, uh, there's no honor lost in losing a fight. There's no, honor not. lost in not fighting. I agree. I ain't never been that. I'd rather get beat up. But anyway, where we at? It was somebody else I wanted to beat. I'm not fucking, I had a list. <laughs> you got the, the, the fade list uh, back? Where this nigga name went? Boy, the fade list is Antonio. back. Antonio. Boy, I had a little list. God damn it, I forgot the other nigga I was supposed to. God, we'll get back to me. I hope I remember before he do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where we at? I'm doing all this with my mom list. I'm joking. <laughs> Mom's going to tear your ass up. Boy, for real. For real. <laughs> My mother just told me yesterday, yo, oh, I'm about shit. to start listening to the podcast now. I'm like, no, you don't have to. <laughs> no, I want to support you. No, 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 you don't have to, though. Um, Let's see. Let's did y'all see, see. Um, Louis C.K. is back? No, I did not. That's all I saw. It's out. I didn't watch it. I went to buy it last night, but you got to buy it and then download it and stream it. What the fuck Wait, is that? It's not good? You don't know. You don't have to do all that. Oh, yeah, because you got all the little. I got you. Yeah, you got the tricks. Um. Louis C.K. is the... Louis C.K. Oh, is the comedian, the white comedian that got canceled for allegedly masturbating in front of a few different women in his hotel room after a show. Um, they canceled him, got him the fuck out of here, and he hasn't been seen publicly since. Now, he did but, one other special. Last year, he did a special, too. Which was released the same exact yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Um, he did that. He released that special and this special through his website. Mm-hmm. No network, no nothing. The last one was really funny. I didn't love the last one. Wow. It was cool. That's how I felt about this one. Oh, I didn't watch this one yet. This one I felt was cool, had some really genius moments in it, but overall, as an hour-long stand-up, it was just cool. The last one, he was on his shit. See, I, the I last one the last felt one. like he was watch just trying to... Um... Acquiesce to the climate? No, or... it's, it sounded like he was trying to shock jock, for lack of a better term. That's what this sounded like. Yeah. Like He, he used to like shock the end. jock, that's kind of part of his comedy brand, but... but he did it good. He would make a valid point, a bigger point in it. The last one seemed like he was just trying to shock Jack. You understand what I'm saying? Just to say shit to get Click a back. laugh. Mm-hmm. I get it. Well, if you haven't seen it, it's out there. It's out there on lewisck.com. Check it out. Name of the special is Sorry. And here's a spoiler alert. He's not. No, he's not. Sorry. <laughs> he's not the least. He's not the least bit sorry at all. He don't. <laughs> he's not apologetic. I do like the model though. Eight dollars, cop it for me directly. I'm not putting it nowhere else. I think it's, I think it's dope. Yeah, he's Ryan Leslie. Yeah, doing it the right way. Um, before we get out of here, what I will ask you, gentlemen, is, uh, it's seeming more and more each day that Travis Scott will make his performing, his performance return at Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. Rolling Loud, where the baby made those hateful comments. Rolling Loud, who approached the baby and said, hey, come tour with us. That Rolling Loud. Mm. Mm-hmm. It, it's because of that that I totally think Travis Scott will be returning at Rolling Loud. It, it, it almost looked like Rolling Loud is trying to do everything to tell y'all we're bringing him back without just coming out and saying it. No, that... They're checking the temperature of what the mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, there you mm-hmm, go. the announcement mm-hmm. is going to do. So if the announcement mm-hmm. and people are up in arms going crazy, I can't believe you motherfuckers are doing that. Which they then, they, then they'll pull it mm-hmm. for another three months. But if it's quiet on the on the front, that nigga fuck around and be at the the well. The, Tra- Travis the, has returned to Instagram. He's letting people know that the Utopia album is coming. Like all of this is working together. Like he went dark Damn, for a while. Do you really think Rolling Loud gives a fuck about what took place? Honestly, like, no. seriously, that, like, that, and that's the that'd part. Be the thing. No, like, that's they the don't part give that a has fuck. me feeling no. a little nasty. I'm not really going to offer an opinion on this because I'm still processing. I need time to flush this out. But my first thought, which I never thought before, was, well, yeah, if Rock Nation or all those companies are involved with this big performance blunder, then the competition, of course, would want to swoop in. Yeah, and 
take one of the biggest performing acts from them, yeah. like they did with buy, the baby. Buy, buy it when the stock is low. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Are you serious? If right he's now? banned and fucking I don't give canceled, a fuck and, about nothing but bread, and can't find a venue, like you said, Parks buy it when the stock is low. That's always a cash cow. He wants mm-hmm. to put this behind him. The only way to put this behind him is to it's keep working. Move forward. Is to mm-hmm. keep working. Yeah. Put out a project and move forward. And I do think that honestly, he that. the boy deserves he it. Deserves and that. I think he's really apologetic. I don't think that he purposely wanted any of that shit to Who's happen not? at his no. show. No. So again, yo, fam. If Roland Loud gonna roll a dice on him, no pun intended, he's definitely gonna fuck with them. Mm-hmm. As well, he should. Like, yo, he deserves the... And again, I'm not being insensitive to anybody that was injured or lost their life. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that he allowed... He's allowed to move on. I Even... Mean, you know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm and agree. Roland Loud don't give a fuck. Not at all. Dollars and cents at the end of the day. A fucking hero, a Hiroshima could have came. They don't give a fuck. They turn in the profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some real good, just random questions to ask y'all. Save for Patreon. Oh, yeah, let's get it. I am. I'm saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's get, get my, it. Get my shit away. Mike, check one, two, one, two, man. Real good pop, real good energy, man. Stay away from low vibrations, low quality escorts with low prices. Bad box. Well, how do you know until you get there? But once you get there, don't invite her back. <laughs> don't invite her back. You can do better. Love yourself. <laughs> we ain't doing bad box to start out 2022. No way. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we all need to be there. Until the next time. Hey. I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Do remember life is a series of moments. But I'll be loving you. Wait a minute. now. Hey, always. Life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And last but certainly not least in the new year. Remember, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed minded women want you to teach them things. But fuck all that, you heard? Hope everybody out there is feeling good, feeling great, man. We'll be back same time, same place, Saturday. You heard?